are the true artists. So let's get together, see what we can uncover. God, the songs in this game are god tier. They're such a bop. I fucking love them. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. I hate how much everything's a bop. Like, stop. Stop, actually. Just stop. Ugh. Everything's just in my head. This is like whenever I played P5R2, I listened to like the whole soundtrack of P5R on like repeat all the time. All of the time, it was really, really bad. And now I'm gonna be the same way with B4 Gold too. Uh, no, don't stop, stop, stop. <laughs> this happens every time. Ah, uh, there's like barely a wait time. Oh, uh, welcome everybody to the stream though. I'm excited to keep playing. So we just finished off the, the kanji dungeon, but we still have like a lot of time to kill before stuff happens so we got a lot of days to spend i'm pretty sure before the fog actually comes but i hope you guys are all doing well and had a good weekend i recorded a lot of p5r actually over the weekend yesterday i got all the way through uh okamura's palace thank god but i'm doing like a lot of offline recording for my second playthrough so i was real busy oh hi dj welcome to the stream you found me from the crying a catchy thing Ah, oh, yes welcome to the stream where we weep over a catchy 24 7 even whenever we're not playing that game ah, it's fine still can't find the any button what do you mean by any oh i don't know why this god this shirt is so annoying this belt i should clarify is really annoying hold on Hi, Serenia, and hello, everybody! Welcome! Okay, I forget where I really left off. There's a lot of shit I gotta do in this game, like, to be real, though. I wanna hang out with Nanako 24-7. <laughs> oh, we just made a garden! That's right! Oh, that's where we left off. Oh, oh, oh! Gardening! That We can do that now. And we have to do the thing the day before. We have to maintain the garden the day before the harvest. I have to remember that. Boo, nothing in the fridge. What the fuck? A catchy pancake is our lord and savior. Oh boy. I don't know about lord and savior, but yes, we do love a catchy here. This is a... This isn't a catchy stand stream. <laughs> If that wasn't obvious enough already. Hold on! Oh my god. God damn it. I need like a fucking safety pin for this belt. It's so annoying. I swear these things never actually work. Greetings, Gary. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys being here. Hello. Oh my god. Hi, Fly. How are you? All right, we're going out. I have no idea how to spend my freaking days in this game. I still have to figure that out. Whoa. What's wrong, mister? You may be able to obtain seedlings to plant in your home garden. Wait, this housewife is selling me seeds? It's an old truth that good seedlings are half the job when it comes to growing vegetables. I can't give them away for free, of course, but I'll sell them to you for below market price. It seems she's willing to sell you uh, seedlings for your garden. You should ask her for more details. Uh, tiny soul tomatoes. They grow fast, they're good for beginners, and they taste great too. Um, I hear these are just the ticket for a quick pick-me-up. These are other- they're- uh, wait, these other ones are return daikon. Among your root vegetables, these are some of the easier to grow ones. It got that name because the taste will make you want to visit home. Isn't that funny? These seedlings have grown- uh, have some- uh, have some growth on them already, so they'll be quick for harvest. I can only sell you one of each. But if you come back another day, I'll be able, uh, I'll be back with a new seedling. These are the ones I have right now. Okay. I mean, I might as well. 500 yen for just one seedling? You think I'm rich? Game. I'm not rich. Yeah, this is the horny jail stream. 
<laughs> you watch my stream, you consent to, um... Being trapped in the horny jail. <laughs> ah! I need a staple. Oh, I don't have a stapler! But yeah, that'd be... I should just show you, but I don't want to. Actually, I do. Oh, uh, Yukino. It's Sunday. Oh, daytime. So, uh, um, um, that... Did I just call her Yukino? Yukiko. Ugh, fuck. Uh, could hang out with Yukiko. It would probably rank her up, too. Aren't you rich, though? I would say, like, 58,000 yen is not that rich. That's not a lot. Sounds like you'll become a good man. Thanks. I appreciate it. I try sometimes. Oh, uh, hi, Razma. It's your first time playing this game, too? Yo, the daily music? Yes, it's so good. Although, I gotta say, I still think I prefer Beneath the Mask. Oh, I love that song so much. Oh, that's right. Okay. And then, can we go in the textile shop now? No. Still nothing. I guess the stuff with kanji has to resolve first. I want things to go well with the person I like. I still have to figure out how that works. We knew here. For high school, it's a pretty good amount. So I have like 50,000 yen. Hmm. Where does it say how much in it? Oh, 58,000. All right, so we got like, you know, $550, something like that. That is about how much money I had in high school. Actually, no, I think I had less than that. So maybe we are rich. Oh, <gasps> Solo! Hi! Oh my god, it's so good to see you. How have you been? Wait, never mind, you said bye. Oh, come on! I miss you! Monka. Thank you uh, for the, the 300 bits. I appreciate it. Oh, Yosuke. Could hang out with Yosuke. Could hang out with Yukiko. Could... Uh, I'm bad at decisions. Is there anybody hanging out at the floodplain? You had like $20 in high school? Yeah, I think in high school I maybe had like at max $100. I don't know where people hang out yet in this game, so I got... Oh, that's cat. Oh, <gasps> kitty! Meow, meow. Oh, that was underwhelming. I was hoping I could pet it. Oh, and then we have a bunch of quests. Oh, God. Meow, meow. Has Yosuke accepted my love? No, he hasn't. Oh, I need to learn how to fish, too. How is Persona 4 Golden so far? This game brings so many memories back, and I would have never thought to experience this with you. Oh. Like the Level of goodness. Aw, uh, thank you so much for the $5 donation, Vic. I really appreciate it. I'm really enjoying this game a lot. It has really fantastic vibes. It's a good game that reels you in at the start, just like Persona 5 did. I like the feeling of it, uh, like, reeling me in right at the beginning. Okay, do we hang out with Yukiko or do we hang out with Yosuke? I think I'm feeling Yukiko. God, this song is so catchy. It's not fair. It's literally not fair. Hi, Yukiko! Oh! Yeah. Embarrassing. Oh my god, no, not the bear puns. Don't do me like this. Don't do it. Solo, go to sleep. I appreciate you stopping in, man. I miss you. In front of Yomenaido Bookstore. It seems Yukiko has, brought a, has bought a book about job certifications. <laughs> Thank goodness this was the last one. Sensei recommended this book to me because it has details on a bunch of different job licenses. Going to apply for one? Uh, uh. That's right. She seems embarrassed. 
Inside the TV, the other me said she didn't want to inherit the inn. I think those were my true feelings. So I've decided to be a little more true to myself. Aww. I refuse to inherit the Amagi Inn. When I graduate, I'm leaving this town. I said it. <laughs> I said it! Yukiko has a refreshing smile on her face. Aww. So in order to leave on my own, I'm thinking of getting a job license. I was thinking somewhere along the lines of an interior decorator. What do you think? Sounds good. Yes. It's cool, isn't it? But it's hard. It costs money to get a license. And of course, I can't tell mother. If only there was a part-time job I could do discreetly. You can make envelopes in your room. Wow, what a great job! Really? I'll go check the board then! Touched by Yukiko's spirit, you feel your relationship has grown deeper. Ah, yes. Become a... folder of envelopes. <laughs> also, happy board! Welcome to the streams! For those of you that come in from my YouTube, I, I appreciate you being here. I woke up to say puns are terrible and you should all feel bad. Thank you, Solo! Oh god, I'm not the only one. Uh, puns drive me nuts. This game's gonna destroy my soul. She can learn Mudo? Oh wow. She got Recarm next too, nice. I think I'll be all right. Oh, Yukiko's so later. cute. That's such an innocent job suggestion. Hi, you want to learn how to make envelopes and fold Welcome them? Welcome back. I hear you and Nanako set up in a little garden. Well, if you're going to start something, make sure you do it right, okay? I'll help you out. I'll help out a bit when I can. Hi, Nanako. <laughs> you're cute. Okay, I don't think I can hang out with Dojima still. Hey. I need more expression to talk to him. Oh well. Can you leave at night in this game? You can't leave if Dojima's here, so because he's here, he'll judge you for going outside at night. So then you're stuck. Alright, I think I want to read my book. I got a lot of books to read, man. I want to become a fisher, but at the same time, I would love to finish the Ramen Way book. But I want to fish. This is complicated, dude. Oh, fuck, what do I read? I'm gonna keep reading the Ramen Way. Good morning, Leon! One more chapter of this stupid book. <laughs> what do you think a book about the ramen way is, anyway? Like, what? Should we haul classes and take a nap? Shape up, assholes! Where's your dignity? The first years are slacking off because you guys are slacking off. Kanji Tatsumi is a perfect example. That lazy punk is always ditching. I'd expel his ass from school if I were his homeroom teacher. You, might, you may not think it's any of your business, but it is. You could all be expelled just as easily. Cause any problems and you earn a one-way ticket out of this place. You best keep that in mind. Yikes. That's a yikes. Oh God, who wants to hang out today? <gasps> Yukiko. Walk Yukiko home? I'd be happy if you would consider it. We could walk Yukiko home. It's a book about Ryuji! <gasps> ah! Ouch. <laughs> this game is so strange. It's amazing, RGM. What do you mean, strange? It's strange in the best way. Oh, there's also, uh... 
Yumi, there's also Yosuke, but then there's also Yukiko. Funky Boy! How's Funky Boy doing? Please give me a quest. I'm gonna go nuts if you don't give me something soon. Funky Boy, no! Come on, man. I miss his riddles already. Fuck. I need more. <laughs> I need more Funky Boy. Oh, I should have checked the roof. Oops, I did not check the roof. Okay, Yukiko hangs out down here. Hi, Yukiko. You want to hang out? Oh. I'm in charge of this bulletin board. I have to change what's posted up here every so often. All right, Yukiko again. Yeah. Funky boy. He deserves the best. Junae's grocery department. Why are we... I was supposed to walk her home from school and then we went to the grocery... Okay. Yukiko brought you here. Why are there so many different types of food? Even eggs come in so many varieties. Making dinner at the end? Huh? No, I'd never dream of it. I don't think my food's nearly good enough to serve to the guests. Despite saying so, Yukiko looks happy. I was just thinking of practicing my cooking. Since I've decided to leave town, eating all the time is bad for you, right? Eating out all the time. So I'm gonna get some practice while I can. Do you have any other skills? Mm -hmm. I can clean and wash clothes. I've learned by helping out at the inn. Yukiko seems to be embarrassed. Oh, that was not a good response, apparently. Oh, yes, I was thinking that maybe you could taste test my food sometime. I want someone to eat it and let me know how it is. I thought I'd improve quicker that way. And knowing you, I'd get an honest opinion. Aw. Will you? Count me in. You don't have enough courage! <laughs> I used to think I couldn't do anything on my own, but maybe I really can. I depended on others up until now, but from this point on, I want others to depend on me. I'll do my best. She's precious. <sighs> this game destroying my freaking hopes and dreams. Whatever. Where do they sell lobsters? I'll see you later. She's gonna learn how to cook lobster. Dude, that's too advanced for me, man. Can you wife her? I don't know. Um, but so far she's my fave. Welcome home! Hi Nanako! <gasps> it's a Nanako night. Hey, Philippe, babe, doing well, how are you? And just, hello, good morning. Nanako is pacing back and forth restlessly. Dad's late again today. Oh. Hello, Doji, my residence. Dad! Huh? Really? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Dad's coming home now. I need to get dinner ready. <laughs> We're out of pickled radish. Dad will be disappointed. I'll go buy some. Mm. But he only likes the ones from Junez. Oh, then I'll go too. <laughs> We're going shopping together. Oh. She's six! Let's go, big bro. I'm also concerned that a six-year-old has the Justice Arcana. Girl's too young to be knowing what justice even is. Dad, welcome home. Where did you go at this time of night? Oh, uh, Junaze. Didn't I tell you not to go outside this late? But you were coming home, so I... No matter what your reason was, rules are rules. You promised me, remember? Big bro! It's not my fault? Then why is dad angry? 
Why won't he listen? That's stupid! Stupid, stupid! How dare you call your father stupid? <sighs> My heart! I still can't allow kids to be walking around this late at night. You know how dangerous it's been lately. You shouldn't be wandering around that uh, out there at night either. All right, who wants to hang out with me today? Oh, more Yukiko. Um. Would you go out with me? Ooh. She's very blunt. She just asked straight out. Why, yes, Yukiko, I would. Damn. Bold. Bold moves. All right. Did I ever get this? I have to get that from... I don't even know where to get these items. Whatever, we'll find out one day. You started to watch uh, P4GA and I am now... Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Jay. It's my fault. Oh, Daisuke! Yumi! And Yukiko. Okay, I really want to hang out with my ball friends. <laughs> Go! Daisuke! Uh-huh. Oh, not ready to advance yet. How's Yumi looking? Hey. Yumi scares me a little bit, not gonna lie. Uh, we just finished up the second dungeon, but we're spending days right now. Uh, so like we we defeated Kanji's shadow or whatever. Oh, Chie! Um, but yeah, he's like in recovery mode, so we're like in that awkward time where we beat the dungeon early and gotta spend yeah. some time before anything happens. Dude, nobody's ready to rank up yet. This sucks. See you later. Damn. Your ball friends? Yeah, Daisuke and the co are my ball friends. <laughs> Uh. All right, Yukiko, let's check on her. Probably not gonna rank up with her either. We're at a standstill with like everybody. Oh, okay, more Yukiko time. Yes. Damn, that's three days in a row, shit. Yukiko handed you a homemade box lunch. Oh! Um... It came out well, so I packed it up and... Packed it up. Try it out. It looks normal. For some reason, an unusually pungent smell hangs in the air. Let's eat! Yes! Oh no. You started with the omelet looking thing. Oh no! It's actually so. There's something too hard to bite on the inside. It smells burnt yet raw. Oh no! You worry that your body will reject the foreign matter. You're not about to tell me how delicious that was, are you? There's always next time. Nanako! What? Oh, Nanako-chan. Well, I was just having him try my box lunch. Oh, I want some! Oh, no, 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 no! I'm sorry, but I can't give you any. It's not good. If you make a good one, will you let me have some? Hm? Huh? Sh sure, if you want. Oh! Yay! I'm rooting for you! Oh. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I need to go now. I'm going to Mai Chan's house. Bye. Bye, Nanako. I'm sorry to drag you around. 
I'm having fun. Everyone is so nice. What is this? I, I feel like everybody is nice in this game, except for the main protagonist. He's kind of a... His responses are concerning. Dude can just be a straight up ass. Divine grace. The fuck? Only about a ha uh, about a year left, huh? I need to be able to do anything on my own by then. Protagonist is like... He got an attitude, man. You're back. Oh, the fridge is full of food. Oh, okay. So uh, we could... Um... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Has it been... Oh, three more days. Okay, we're, we're still good on the garden thing. And I still can't talk to Dojima. Oh, we should read a book. We should read the book and maybe it'll raise my expression. He's the best in the anime. I will. I can't watch the anime until I play the game, so I will watch it eventually. The ramen way. We're going to finish it. Expression has increased. Oh, yes! It worked! We can now talk to Dojima. Fuck yeah, dude. You overhear students talking. I saw a new job posting on the town bulletin board. The daily pay for being a tutor looks really good. Yeah, but don't you need to have more knowledge before anyone would ask you to tutor them? Why would you say that? Anyway, you're wrong. It turns out you need understanding to take the tutoring job. Yeah, but you don't have much of that either. That's not true. I understand everything. Maybe I could start washing dishes at Shiroku Bar. You need understanding there too. Cat fight. Yukiko again? Um. Will you spend the day with Yukiko? I like that we can see this. This is kind of cool, actually. All right. Thank you. This is all Yukiko time, apparently. Who's Yosuke and Chie? I don't even know who they are anymore. Oh god, Junae's food court. There's really like, god, we need another hangout spot. This is depressing. You accompanied Yukiko on her shopping trip. Um, notebooks, three colors of pens, a loose leaf folder, labels at the stationery department. Then the furniture department. I want to look at the desks. Those and the lamps. What's all this for? <laughs> studying! Yukio is full of energy. I'm thinking of studying seriously for a job license, though I haven't decided on exactly which one I'll pursue. But I was thinking of trying for all the ones I feel I can earn. I'm starting... I've started working at night, you see. Remember the job you told me about? Thanks to that, I have some money. Well, if it isn't the manager of the Amagi Inn, or should I say, the manager to be. No, not the piano! Fuck! I see you haven't gone home yet. I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Stuck here with nothing to do. Man, the countryside is the dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down sweet deals is part of country life too, is it? Ha ha ha. Wow. I'm sorry. Bitches. Alright, happy music back. Those people are from some TV station. They wanted to cover the Amagi Inn. You said no? It's a news of the weird... Uh, it's a news of the weird show. It isn't real journalism. You know that our inn was associated with Miss Yamano's murder, right? They want to make a special called Hot Springs Getting Too Hot for the Amagis. 
It was an important title. Mother turned them away. But maybe she shouldn't have declined. I mean, if it gets a bad reputation, we'd lose customers and the inn really would close its doors. <sighs> then I'd feel better about leaving. Are you serious? I'm serious. But you're right, there's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. My life is in my hands now. Oh. Of course I want to help everyone. <laughs> you too, for being such a patient listener all the time. Oh. Dang, another rank up! That's four ranks in one day already. <laughs> Hi, Agile, how you doing? She can now cure severe ailments. Oh, nice. Nice. All right. <gasps> yes, I have watched the P5 anime. Hi, Nanako. Oh, it's a Nanako night, isn't it? Fuck. Dang it, Nanako. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Don't give me that. Don't don't give me that. Don't 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 be sad, Nanako. I swear to God. I swear to God. <sighs> a single slice of ham lies lonely on a paper plate. You left it alone! No! I wanted to Yo, that was my lunch. A single slice of ham. Oh, hi, Adachi. Oh. If it was daytime, they wouldn't know if I slacked off a little. <laughs> ah. Truly the jester persona, huh? Truly. Dude's an actual clown. Alrighty. Reflection, Nanako be getting hungry. Nanako's fine. Oh, Chie. Actually, maybe I should spend the night with Chie. It's actually not a bad idea. Maybe? Yeah, actually, we're gonna hang out with Chie. Hi, Rogue, how are you? Yeah, I'm gonna spend the evening with Chie. Come on! Oh yeah, do you know about Aya's mega beef bowl that's only served on rainy days? It's loaded to the gills. Now there's a dish that really puts your love of meat to the test. You should try it out if you get the chance. Meat's the perfect meal for a rainy day. Steak. Um, I'll give it a try. Cool, that's a perfect balance. That perfect balance between meat and fat is to die for. You're in for a treat. But the mega beef bowl is a pretty serious challenge, even if even you might have trouble. If you plan to take it on, you have to steal your mind and just shovel it down your throat. Huh? Okay. From me to you. I got meat gum? Meat gum is the best way to finish off a steak dinner. The sinewy texture is too good. Well, we should get going. Good night. I just thought of like gum flavored meat and like f meat flavored gum rather. But that just sounds really gross. Hi, Chie. That sounds nasty. 
Please turn to page 150 and refer to the map of ancient Egypt. You'll also find a picture of the Great Pyramids, the pride of Egypt. It was said that these pyramids were built by slaves. However, upon excavation, attendance records of the workers were found, disproving that theory. Ho oh, ho, I had believe in the nobility of the ancient... It, uh, it, ancient Egyptians, since even before they found those, those records, ancient remains are the real stars of history. Don't you all feel the romance that comes of looking back on ancient times? My older brother is just a boring old samurai with no interest in ancient civilizations. Boring and samurai shouldn't ever be in the same sentence. He looks like an idiot in that caputo. This, this Nems is much more elegant. I don't know what that is actually. Uh, you there, Mr. Hanamura. Don't start zoning out just because I changed the subject. Tell me how the theory that the pyramids were built by slaves was disproven. Something about laborers? Uh... Okay. Yes, the theory was disproven after the attendance logs of laborers were found. There are even notes listed as reasons for absence, such as hangover. If the labor was being done by slaves, they wouldn't have been allowed to take days off for things like that, would they? It seems the long prevailing theory was very different from the truth. Thanks, you. I'll have to listen to the lectures more attentively. You got it, Yosuke. I got you. Oh, I got expression. Pog. You both look weird. What? Ryder, you can't say that. You can't say that, Ryder. I want to hang out with my ball friends. All right. I feel like uh, it's either a Yosuke or Chie kind of day. Yosuke, Chie. Yosuke, Chie. Yosuke. Junae's food court. You came with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. Hanging out with you here every so often isn't that bad. Even if we're short on cash, we can get a little discount here. Though that's a small price to pay in exchange for that. There you are, Hanamura. What, what? <sighs> for example. Hello there, senpai. What's wrong today? You better say something to that blockhead manager. I told him I can't come in on Saturdays or Sundays, but he's saying I have to be here since we're low on staff. And if I don't, he'll fire me. Isn't there some kind of law against that? Uh, but didn't you guys say you could work weekends during your interviews? Well, yeah, they wouldn't hire us if we didn't. All right, I got it. I'll try talking with him, but you don't want to get fired, right? I'll make it'd make it easier for me to strike a deal if you could show up every now and then on the weekends. We'll think about it. You'd better do it, okay? Oh, Yosuke Kun, just the man I was looking for. Oh God, more. Oh hi. Hear me out, remember that claim I had the other day? Well, the head butcher said, all right, all right, let's talk over there. Sorry. Could you give me a minute? Yikes. <sighs> I'm beat, I'm not the, I'm not the complaints department. That must be hard. Yeah, now's not the time to be pulling crap like this. Geez, everyone's just trying to take advantage of me as a Junaze kid. Maybe I wouldn't mind if, it, if, it, if I was free, but we have the murders to deal with. I don't have time for this. Can the police really handle the killer? Can the law really convict whoever's behind this? Once I started worrying about that stuff, I knew I couldn't bother with anything else. I have to do what I can. Hey, you... <laughs> don't get carried away. You make me feel like I said something crazy. <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking about serious stuff like this. Before I moved here, it was all small talk. Stupid, trivial things. I thought that was fine. It's only with you guys that I talk seriously like this. I don't know why, but I feel like I don't have to lie. Especially with you. You've already seen the worst of me and all. 
But well, thinking about it now, if someone had to see that, I'm glad it was you. Thanks. It's a bit late now, but thanks for going in with me that time. Aw. 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 Precious Bab. Decaja. It's actually really good. Uh, I don't think I want to escape. Escape sounds lame. All right. I'll see if I can get a deal with the guy at the counter and try out the meat lovers combo. See you later. <laughs> meat lovers combo while hanging out with me. Hmm. Hmm. You hung around the food court with Yosuke before going home. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, I can hang out with Dojima now. I think. <gasps> no, wait, I want to hang out with Dojima, but the plants. seem to be coming along it looks like a bumper crop never thought this empty lot would bloom into such an amazing garden big bro and i worked really hard but there were some things here already when we started oh oh this raises diligence too dude that's pretty good We'll hang out with Dojima another night. Oh, God, this music is so catchy. I fucking hate it. Fuck this music. To Afro Kid, Funky Boy, Funky Boy's the best. No Yukiko either. Well then, okay. Let's see if um sometimes there's somebody down here. Oh, night! I got lucky. Adachi, hi. Oh. It's an Adachi kind of yeah. day. Good for you, you're a good listener, the kind who gets promoted. Oh, thanks. What are you doing, shopping for dinner? I'm impressed. I live alone, so taking care of dinner can be pretty tedious. <laughs> you don't eat? <laughs> Why is that? Uh. I guess a high school kid wouldn't get it. I just get so tired after work. So I make some cup ramen or something. Adachi doesn't seem to lead a nutritionally balanced life. He doesn't look like it. He's a fucking hot mess. Uh, um, want me to make you dinner? Huh? Like you'd come over to my house? <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> mm hmm. <gasps> no! Wait, stop. I wanted to. I wanted the log. Okay, cute girls are the best, though. I go for the real knockout to myself. Okay, that, I missed that. Most important thing is that they should be good cooks. Everything else I could take or leave. Okay, so Adachi's only qualifying uh, thing that he likes in a girl is cooking. Got it. Toru-chan, is that you? <sighs> Shit, she found me. Are you off work? I hope you're not doing anything dangerous. 
Uh... No, I'm still on the clock. I was just on my way back to the station. I'm so happy to see you working hard. I brag about you to my neighbors all the time. I'll bring you some Nemino, okay? You'll have to take care of yourself. By the way, I saw this detective show on TV the other day. The old woman seems like she's she'll be talking to him for a long while. Uh, I need to get back. Is it that time already? I hope your day goes well then. <laughs> <sighs> Finally. I guess her son has the same name as me. Maybe that's why she's been hanging around me ever since she found out. I don't know. She's always bringing huge heaps of that Nemino to the situate to the situate that uh, to the station. <laughs> She'll talk to you- <laughs> I can't talk, I'm sorry. And she'll talk your ear off if you let her. It's so annoying. She cares about you. Uh, that does sound annoying. I don't know what to say here. You're right. Doesn't it? She's like that practically every day. <laughs> She's the exact opposite of my parents, so I can't relate to people like that. She's lonely, I guess. I don't see- uh, I don't think she has any relatives. I can't just ignore her either, it's part of my job. The police have been busy lately, so I'm the only one who can deal with her. Despite his griping, Adachi looks happy. You feel that you've seen a new sign. Have I though? Have I seen a new sign? Have I? I wish I shared a name with her grandson instead. I'm still only 27 after all. You're 27? Oh. I should head back or Dojima san will really chew me See out. Ya. I thought he was older. He's young. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hi, Nanako. He's still a complete mess. His life will always be a mess, I feel like. They look yummy. I want to help harvest, too. We've got veggies. What a weird little tune. did grow a lot overnight. Oh, that doesn't take time to harvest them, just to maintain them. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Okay, Nanako. You wanna hang out? Why do people die? Is Nanako talking about her mother who died in an accident? Oh god, that's not an easy conversation. Nanako's looking straight at you. With your current level of expression, you wouldn't be able to explain it. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Oh, people are fishing? Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta read that fishing book. Could also work. Time to read a fishing book. <sighs> Why do people die? How do you have a conversation like that with a six-year-old? Damn. Have you been watching that mail order show that's on TV every Sunday? I never miss it. 
Oh, the one on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday? You really love those kinds of shows, don't you, Michi? I remember that you said you bought a f really flashy, skimpy bathing suit last time. When are you ever going to wear it? Oh, I'll wear it when the time is right. You know, summer. Oh, okay. Let's see who wants to hang out today. I really kind of want to hang out with Adachi more. I should check on him first more than the students. He's interesting. I should, I'm gonna go check on him first. Okay, he's not here. That's all I wanted to... I have to s remember when Adachi hangs out there. Let's see if Chie's on the roof. Oh, Chie. Cool. Oh, kitty! All right, we're training with Chie. You decided to train with Chie. Hmm. Let's call it a day. Huh, it's Chie. What are you doing? Takeshi. Oh, well, training. I'm working out. Huh? When are you going to graduate to being King of the Hill? That's not it. King of the Hill? In kindergarten, it was the Runt, runt Gang. In elementary school, you were an ally of justice. <sighs> Middle school, it was the vanguards of the lunch revolution, wasn't it? <sighs> so what is it now? You're a protector of Earth's peace? Well... I don't know if she... I don't want to go along with the guy. Huh? What are you saying? Chie's in a panic. I didn't mean that in a mean way. I'm Takeshi Kuno. I was with Chie up until middle school. I'm not gonna get in your guys' way. Uh, wait! What are you... How Yukiko-san doing? Does she have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> She's fine, and I don't think so. I see. Cool, cool. She's still good-looking? Maybe I should try for her again. I'll see you later. Say hi to Yukiko-san for me. Oh, God. Gotta love shallow statements, huh? Uh, as long as the woman looks good, I'll date her. Uh, hold Chie's hand? Do it. <laughs> a, a match? You want to spar? Don't scare me like that. I won't hold you back, you know? Oh my god. Her <gasps> it's red with panic. Oh, I'm sorry. He really is rude, huh? Seriously, he was always staring at Yukiko. Hey, don't get me wrong. He's nothing but an old classmate to me. We're just friends, you know? We used to get that a lot, though. Uh, you feel your relationship has grown deeper. Oh, boy. That jump she had. Whew. What? chat option worked out. It did. Somehow it actually- I didn't think it was gonna work out. I just wanted to see how she would react. It was cute. Worth it. Welcome back. Oh, yes! Now we can hang out with Dojima. Finally. Okay. Hi, Dojima. I have enough expression to talk to you now, bitch. Hey! You're that bored? Well, have a seat. Hey. 
What have you been doing after school? Um, hanging with friends. Hmm. Are you really just hanging out? <sighs> this is turning into an interrogation, isn't it? But it's not as if we have much in common, except for the murders. Tell me about yourself. Huh. About me, you're interested in the strangest things. It's just what it seems. I'm a simple country detective living with my daughter. There's nothing about that, uh, about that to interest a high school kid. But you know, it really is good to have you around the house. I didn't think Nanako would be so happy. Hell, I'm already tired of hearing big bro this and big bro that. You're more like a very young brother to me than a son. Should I call you big bro? <laughs> Stop that! You're sending chills down my spine. I think it's been a while since I've laughed this much. Aww. Dojuma's me, king of awkward conversation. Night. Night, Dojima. I'm beginning to crack the eggshell a little bit, yeah. I don't know what to do today. I never know what to do on Sundays. You've never seen this show before. This must be the shopping program you've heard about. <gasps> Tanaka's Amazing Commodities! Tanaka! It is the same exact guy! The mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Now, let's introduce the products that will be on sale for the next three days. Adios Shoes. This is a limited edition pair of high quality shoes. But wait, there's more. I'll add two slimming foods and to, uh, to the Adios Shoes. One medical kit. It's very helpful in emergencies. Uh, I'll add four medicines to your medical kit. Uh, medicine's lame. Audio shoes combo. Let's do it. Here comes Tanaka <laughs> over the airwaves to you. That was interesting. So, okay, so they also have the TV shopping program from P5. Or rather... Yeah, hello. It's oh! Ko. Hi, Ko! Wanna do something with me and Daisuke today? Sound good? I miss my ball gang. Okay. Oh. the ball friends. So what'd you buy, Daisuke? A comic. I was feeling kind of nostalgic when I saw it because I used to have it. Wait, this isn't what I... I got the wrong one. Instead of rubber-armed pitcher hero, I bought lovely witch detective. <laughs> Here, you. You can have it. Thanks. I didn't know you read those kind of books. <laughs> <laughs> you must be one of those comic snobs. Hmm. What can I say? The covers looked uh, covers looked exactly alike. Oh, Chie. Huh? You three all together. Now that's a weird trio. Then again, you guys are all into sports, huh? Whoa. Chie san, uh, what are you doing? Hmm. Training. You're the man, Chie! Hell no! That 
was a good way to spend the day, I think. Worth it. You think Ko got a crush on Chie? Or no, Daisuke. <gasps> More Dojima time. Dojima! I heard something at the station the other day about, well, I heard you guys hang out at Junae's pretty often. Dojima's probing stare hurts. Nothing wrong with that, of course. The question is, why do you make so many trips to and from the electronics department? Dad? Uh, this isn't what you think. I'm not interrogating him. It's not fair! You're always talking with Big Bro! What? I mean, today you're home, but... I always talk with you. When is always? I... I want to talk. Nanako rubs her eyes sleepily as she says it. <sighs> it's bedtime for you already. Go to sleep. I'll play with you next time. You promised. Man. When is always, huh? Why not play with her? <sighs> I'm busy. I mostly left raising her up to my wife, her mother. So I don't really know how to approach her. Plus, I'm not fit to be her family. You think just being related by blood makes you family? That's not the case. Well, that, uh, got depressing. Sorry. You didn't need to hear about that. Night. Get some sleep. Woo! Yikes. Rotero is a badass name. It is. Rotero. Wait, Rio, Rio, it would be Rio to Rio. If you have some free time after school, you wanna hang out with me? Of course, Chie. Anybody else? Nope, just Chie. Well, okay. So, Kanji Tatsumi is still absent on account of illness. Sounds like a load of bullshit if it to me. I bet he's out there dicking around all day long. What? What's your? What's with your faces? You trying to tell me I shouldn't assume things? Don't tell me you're friends with that punk. All right, listen to these words. Aristotle said a true friend is one soul in two bodies. You better watch who you hang out with. You only bring your own worth down. Though I doubt the trash of society would even have friends like you. like that though I kind of want to hang out with Yosuke yep never mind I don't want to hang out with Yosuke See <laughs> oh, all right Chie should rank up though Alright, Chie time. We hung out with Yukiko for such a long time and now she doesn't want to hang out anymore. Yeah, let's... 
We went too, uh, too fast with Yukiko's relationship. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner. Delicious. The meat and rice just flow through my veins! You look so happy. <laughs> On the happiness scale, it's up there with watching action movies. I need to work hard and pump myself up or else I can't pull us out of a jam, right? Especially Yukiko, I need to be able to protect her. I hope she's not straining herself. Makes you worry, huh? Mm, I worry more for you. My understanding has increased, Pog? Huh? M me? But I'm fine. I mean, I've been training and everything. I'll make myself stronger for Yukiko too. So keep it up, leader. I know me and Yosuke joke around with you a lot, but we're all counting on you. You can sense Chie's burning passion. Poggers, we got understanding. I didn't know that you could get, like, uh, points from confidant stuff. See you later! Uh, it is, yes. My follow alert is a Yosuke cute- uh, Yosuke- Yosuke gif. Same thing. Oh, <laughs> Yosuke, Yosuke. Welcome home, big bro. Hi, Nanako. Unfortunately, I can't talk to you because I apparently don't have enough expression. Drink old milk? Oh god. might eat that milk. Might. I don't know yet. Seems like people go fishing at night, but I can't fish yet. I will probably drink the milk. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure- oh yeah, I need to fish for this girl. What does the shrine god tell me to do? This shrine god is stupid. Ew. Oh, Adachi hangs out here too. Oh, oh I can spend- oh! Fuck the milk! <laughs> you must have a lot of time on your hands, ojima san will be on your ass, you know. It's fine. You're his friend, just tell him that I'm okay. Uh. I knew it, stores out here closed too soon. I got off work early, so I thought I'd make something, but then I got lazy. This is bad. What should I do? I have tons of Nemono at home. Why Torchan? Oh God. How is work? Are you still working hard? <sighs> Hi, yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young, you need to eat up. Would you like to come to my house? I'm making your favorite Nemono. Uh. Today, I've got a... Uh... That's right, I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. He's my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. Maybe next time. That's too bad. Well, next time then, good night. <sighs> She really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really like her Nemino anyway. The Lotus Root is too tough. Uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. I was a big help. I swear this fucking protagonist. <laughs> Huh? At 
Dojima-san's? Well, isn't that a generous offer? But Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does that mean it'll be just us? Isn't that weird? Nanako will be happy. Really? You're such an older brother now. I think I've seen Nanako-chan smile a lot more since you moved here. Well, I'm interested to see what you're like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave a cooking never gave cooking a single thought. What did you do instead? I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where, you, where grades really mattered. I didn't mind though. You get back as much as you put in, everyone knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did as long as my grades were good too. But that works out when you're a student. You don't enjoy yourself now? <laughs> I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. I guess lately things have been fun. It's nice to know there's something I'm good at. Ah, this is embarrassing. Interesting. So am I... That's weird. That's weird, man. It's weird that he's... Uh... Hey, Daisuke! It just seems weird that he doesn't like his job, so what is he doing? Does he? He just seems... Maybe he's just like in on... <gasps> what if Adachi's true calling in life is actually being a clown and he just always wanted to be a clown. He never wanted to be a detective. He just... That's, that's all he wants. Adachi just wants to be a clown. Fuck this detective life. He doesn't like it. It'd be like that sometimes. <gasps> Kuro, hi! You miss Baton Pass? Oh my god, I miss it too, man. I miss it a lot. It's so hard. I didn't realize how spoiled I was with Baton Pass until I, it was like stripped away from me. How are you doing, Kuro? It's good to see you. So I can hang out with Daisuke and Yumi and... Fuck. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a Daisuke kind of day. Is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a dice cake kind of day. All right. Let Adachi be the clown. Adachi doesn't like his job. That's why. Oh, that would make sense. If Adachi doesn't like his job, that would explain why he is lazy. If you're not motivated to do your job, you're going to be lazy and try to get out of it. I guess that makes sense. Uh, oh, I got diligence from going to soccer practice. Cool. All right, is this everyone? Good news, boys. You're getting a team manager. Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself. I, Ebihara. Hi. Great, you can take it from here. I'm going home. What? I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. What, then why did you... I've missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even gonna be here. Goodbye. Well, see ya, or not. Great, 
Sorry, first impression. I guess Aisan won't be doing our laundry, huh? Why are you showing her so much respect? She's the same age as us. Dude, just let me fantasize about her in peace, all right? No way, her? Soccer players continue talking about Ai Ebihara. Hey, Daisuke, think you'd go for a chick like Aisan? Not in a million years. Really? I mean, yeah, she's got major issues, but don't you, don't you think she's kind of hot? Oh my god! Ah! Girls annoy me. <laughs> I think I just bonded with Daisuke. <laughs> ah! Yes! Oh, my man. Girls annoy me too. <laughs> Knock it off. Weren't you dating back in middle school, bro? Oh, I get it now. You've got higher standards now, huh? Must be nice to be so popular that you can get any chick you want. Us normal guys couldn't possibly understand. Wait, are they making fun hey, of me man. for being gay? Or dice gay, rather? No. Is that what just happened? Bitch! For being a Chad? I feel like it could go both ways. I guess they don't know what way Dice K swings. I don't know if this is... I don't know. I don't know. We don't know much about him. I do think uh, him and Ko are pretty cute though. Not gonna lie. Girls, am I right? <laughs> Fuck girls, man. <laughs> uh, right on, dude. Uh, girls are a pain in the ass, yes. <laughs> you see where I'm coming from? Hell yeah, I do, brother. Girls don't even talk to me, but they're always coming up and asking me out. What do you- what do they know about me? <laughs> and here comes Ko. You guys done over here? Same thing as, la as last time, right? A little overtime practice and then we'll clean up. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> uh. Kind of, he's not explicitly gay. I just assume that everybody's gay in this game now. Everybody be giving off those gay vibes. Or maybe, I don't know. All right, let's go home. It's pretty great, I don't know. Kanji though, beautiful, beautiful. Welcome back. The fridge is full of food. Mm. Oh, I gotta maintain the garden tonight, don't I? Yeah. Oh, I don't have seedlings. This oh no, I didn't off. buy seeds. Oh, fuck. I have nothing to plant. Oh, I don't have to plant until tomorrow. Okay, so I have to buy seeds tomorrow. <gasps> oh, it's June. Poor Kanji is still recovering. Holy crap. I didn't think I did the dungeon that early, but apparently I did. More dice game. I don't think it's gonna rank up though. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's check on uh, Funky Boy. P4 Golden. Golden as in yellow. Yellow is a color of a rainbow. The rainbow is a symbol for homosexuality. Persona 4. Everybody is gay. <laughs> oh, I stand it. Summer uniform should be coming soon. Yeah, I guess so. June. We kept in P5R. They kept their winter uniforms like all the way until July, though. Almost. I think it was like toward the end of June they switched. I don't remember. It took a while though. Uh, dice game. Oh, um, let me check. I'm gonna check on, see if Adachi be around. Oh, you! Oh, yes, I need seedlings. Oh, 
Okay. That young detective who comes by here all the time looks like he eats his veggies. I do wonder why he keeps buying cabbage. So Adachi likes cabbage. How odd. <laughs> Adachi is a rabbit! <laughs> in th that's information, I guess. I'm mad that you can't pet the cats and dogs. Akechi was a pancake boy, Adachi is cabbage boy. Except one's a murderer and the other one's a clown. I don't know it. I don't think Adachi can be a murderer. Maybe he can, but like, the dude just doesn't have his fucking life together. I find it hard to believe, man. Guess we'll see. I just got to get to know him more. We'll find out. Who? Oh, quest! I end up throwing my books away when I'm done with them. I feel bad for the books, though. I thought maybe someone like you can give them a little love. So are you interested? Yeah. You want a peach seed. Uh, maybe he is a clown. I think that Adachi, I think his true calling in life is to, he like, he wants to be, I think he wants to be a clown. I mean, he's the jester persona, it makes sense. <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen a character really like cabbage, though. That's so strange. Cabbage. He just buys all the fucking cabbage. Why? Maybe it helps him be strong. I don't know why I just bought that. This game is very addicting. What else could he possibly eat? That's a good question. I mean, but like, cabbage? Cabbage, though? It's, it's weird. Anyway, um, Daisuke, I think, is our literal only option to hang out with. Oh, Yukiko, hi. much option so we'll just yes whatever we went on a walk with uh yukiko huh you're back there was a delivery for you oh the sunday channel oh i got my audio shoes Fuck yeah. Tanaka, my man. They look good. Great. <laughs> That's a cute little tune. Name one food besides Whoa. cabbage. You can't even think of one. Case closed. Ah, oh, fuck. He got me. Why does... <laughs> I don't get it. I guess there's a cabbage meme. Dude likes cabbage, I guess. Hi, Dojima. 
Wait, what? I could read a book, or I could go with them to Junais? I don't know what that does, but sure, I, I, I'll go. Maybe something will happen. I didn't know. something big bro go ahead and get whatever you want but make it quick i got uh. tea uh. wait chia and yukiko are here come on man you really look great in a kimono yukiko that long black hair is perfect for it. It's like those two things together add up to something really special. I can see why guys fall for you so easily. Well... Uh, come on, you're overestimating me. You have a lot of strong points that people like about you too, Chie. Huh? Really? Like? Your jumping skills. And now you can eat almost anything. <laughs> What's that face about? I'm really jealous of that. I think everybody in this game is gay. <laughs> Chie and Yukiko, main protagonist in Yosuke, Daisuke and Ko, Kanji and oh, Pretty Boy. Oh, I can't forget about Kanji and Pretty Boy. I don't even know the Pretty Boy's name yet. He doesn't said. Everybody, everybody. She and Yuki are definitely lesbian for each other. It's adorable. It's really cute. I stand it. I stand it all. Pretty boy? Yeah, pretty boy. Cool hat with the- yeah, pretty boy with the cool hat. Yeah, that. Damn, I hate whenever it rains. The fact that there's no music when it rains is- it's terrifying. I hate it. Makes me so uncomfortable. Who do I hang out with? There's nobody that likes me. Oh, main protagonist and funky boy. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Main protagonist and funky boy, you say? Hmm. Maybe. I don't know what to do, man. Nobody at school wants to hang out. There's no Adachi at the department store. Well. <sighs> I don't know how to do the fox things, too. I have to solve those things. Oh, um... Oh, wait, I didn't want to go. I'm trying to find the... 20% discount? What? That would've been nice to know. Oh, did I want- no, I didn't want to go up here. There's- there's nothing up here. <laughs> I miss Shibuya! Where is the- um... I thought it was right here. No? Yeah! This seems cool. away from you all you did was turn a dial you would think that would take like a minute but no you spend the entire hours of your afternoon a 
I don't get it. At all. I'm reading a book tonight. Fuck this game. Actually, no. What? I need to see what other people do. Holy fuck. How can you spend time with Nanako? I don't have enough expression. Well, shit. I want to learn how to fish. Oh my god, I have so many books. Fuck. I gained diligence and now I know how to fish. Just express. <laughs> I wish I could. Oh, another day of rain. Finally. We're getting there. Another day of silence. I'm actually gonna do a new save. Should do that. Today is Akechi's birthday. His birthday's on June 2nd. <laughs> Why do I remember that? It was yesterday. Uh... Excuse me while I cry. Okay, um... Funky boy. Dude, everybody hates me! It was so easy to hang out with all my friends before, and now... <laughs> I'm running out of options. Did I ever get your thing? No. I need a demon statue and an angel statue. Fuck. This game is starting to get overwhelming. I should check the food store. Uh, oh, you're that girl? What do you want? I'm busy. Ask her out? She seems crabby. I don't want to be friends what? with her. You should skip your afternoon classes next time. We'll go somewhere far away. With your overabundant courage, you're able to slip out of class with ease. What? Hey. Okay. So I guess I skip class to hang out with her next time. Okay. Right. There's no Adachi here! Piece of shit. All right. Um. Uh, oh, you know what? I could um. The library. I could just read, or you know what? You know, fuck it. We're just gonna go to the diner. All right, we're gonna take the beefy bull challenge. We got this. I think I'm ready for this challenge now. You still can't e see the rice? Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm unable to finish, no! I, I thought being rank two and everything would be enough. Oh, I- Diligence is now strong. Okay, worth it. That was a lot of stat bonus. That was actually really good. I swear you were gonna say catchy. <laughs> Welcome back. God, we can't go like- I can't go five minutes without thinking about the boy. Ah! Kill me! Okay, anyway. Hey. No, I don't want to spend Night. time with Dojima. Mm. Three days, okay. Reading a book tonight. Actually, I should probably work. I, I don't really work much in this game, but I probably should instead of reading. 
No, I don't want to go to sleep either. Oh, there's a school camp out? Oh, that sounds so fun. Ocean day, finals, 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 finals. Oh my god, that's five days of finals? Five? Fuck. That sucks. Kill me. Okay, I don't need diligence. I need expression. Translation cultivates your expression. Okay, so we should do translation. Um... Damn! Look at me go! Got 6,000 yen tonight, too. Ooh, I need to do more work. Another rainy day. Oh, yay, my favorite. Ah! Three days of rain. You missed finals because of the quarantine. I guess there's some good things that come of this, right? I kind of want to do the beef bowl challenge again. Because nobody's going to be available. Funky boy. Talk to me, my bro. Dude's always just, like, standing there. Always. I hope you're hungry for some beef. Uh, I don't know when I... Oh, you wanted to... Yeah, you. Hey. She wants me to skip afternoon classes. I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> Some people went into the TV. I, uh, I, uh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Studied, studied, studied. Yeah, I kind of want to, uh. I'm going to go do that too. That gives you a lot of stats. That seems like a pretty sweet deal, if you ask me. Dude, rainy days suck. No one wants to hang out with you. They're lonely. Alright, let's try this beef bowl challenge again. <sighs> I wish this game didn't make me so hungry all the time. That'd be great. Didn't finish. No, nothing ranked up. Fuck. <sighs> and now the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Oh boy, the fog. It's so lord it's coming. How's this looking? So tomorrow we gotta maintain the garden. Uh. I kinda wanna do more translating, but I can go out right now, which is interesting. Oh, I have to watch the midnight channel tonight, fuck. Whatever. Uh-oh, uh-oh, are we gonna get another piano drop? <sighs> Please, no. I'm waiting for it. Since Kanji has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Oh, no piano. <laughs> no piano drop. We did it. We saved Kanji.
again. Oh, there's the piano! <laughs> I spoke too soon. I missed the, uh, I missed the music. Okay, it's over. Damn, I was uh I was jamming. Go out? Oh god. I mean I was gonna go out. Go out until the evening, yes. Fish. I need to fish in this game too at some point. boy got the whole clown gang in here you have to hear me out cabbage there's no cabbage i wonder who took all of it what am i gonna do my grandfather will refuse to eat anything that wasn't grown in inaba i'll help you out what i need from you are three cabbages i'm so glad to have your help yo adachi you got some cabbage oh. Oh my gosh. See you later. I wonder who took all the cabbage. I wonder. All right, let's see who's here. We got Chie. Ooh. All right, so we have Chie as an option. a quest up here. A sauna would be nice. Yeah, saunas are great. It's no good if you can't get coal. Oh, so he wants coal for a sauna. This is still not open? Okay. Well, we tried. Oh, there's more kids here now. Shota, are you in love with Mayu-chan? You're so wishy-washy. Mayu-chan doesn't know what to think. The other day during lunch, she... Ugh. This boy is not having it. Gosh, relationship problems at like five years old. I lost my bug catching net. I was trying to see if I could catch them with my bare hands. Are you wearing AirPods so you can listen to the music? Wait, what? 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 I'm confused. I have speakers? Good morning, Arya. How are you doing? 
I don't understand the question. All right, Chie. You finished today's training and came here with Chie. Have you had the steak skewers? Everything is steak! <sighs> the meat is tender and delicious. They hardly cost anything. It might not even be cow meat. Just kidding. Whoa, thinking about it. That's kind of gross. What? The police are here. Other than is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me. Yes, I haven't eaten any of the meat today, I swear! Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Huh? Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Have you seen anyone suspicious? No one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful then. Hmm. I'm glad it wasn't the meat. But still, bullying? What cowards ganging up on the weak like that? Uh, it's eat or be eaten. Oh my god. This fucking protagonist. <sighs> we'll grab him and make them apologize, right, leader? Of course. <laughs> Mowing down villains and saving the weak, a lone female fighter stands. To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, but notes them to all. Oh, yeah, that sounds cool. You can leave it to me. Okay, Chie. Though I'd feel better about it if you helped, and it'd make me kind of happy. She's blushing. Rank six. Woo, we're getting there. Increases crit rate all? Wait, what? What? Don't think. Feel. Actually, in this case, would it be don't think eat? See you later! Uh, yes. Welcome home! I still don't have enough expression to talk to you, Nanako. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, poor child. Oh! The, the plants! Oh, wait, I think I have to garden tonight. Wait, is it tonight? Wait. Yeah, fuck. I wonder. Did you see the weird man on TV on Sunday? Tanaka? Yeah. Grantor of your desires. What does that mean anyway? I like Junae's song better. Every day's great at your Junae. Nanako doesn't like Tanaka. It's a shame. Damn shame. Oh, <gasps> Kanji! Uh, hi there. Hi! <laughs> Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Thanks a bunch. Though, I don't really remember what happened. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? Yeah, who's pretty boy? Introduce us. I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well... 
He, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. He's blushing! It's so cute! <laughs> Kanji never changed. To a guy. To a guy. You had a problem with that, I, uh, Chia? Yes. I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so... You know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Mood. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh... I started thinking... What if... I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? Oh. <laughs> what if I'm gay? And I couldn't accept that. So I kept spinning around and around in my head. Aww. Well, I can understand out, the hard, part man. about feeling more relaxed around dudes. <laughs> Yosuke needs his coming out <laughs> story too. Oh God. Uh, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, <laughs> our families run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. I did already know that. parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. Kanji is now my best friend. The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. You're really pretty cool. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. He flushes so much. It's so cute. <laughs> No need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down? Huh? Uh, I went home. I was going to sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Huh? Now that you mention it, maybe so. Uh... Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. And I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Um, of course you can. Thank you, sir. Aww. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. <laughs> I'll do my best. Hmm. 
Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member. I love Kanji already, guys. It's kind of great. Should we take him to our Fuck. special headquarters? Uh, We're still calling it that? Wh what's that? Come on, let's go. He's actually the best boy. God, I love him. Oh, now Man, he gets steak? Were you listening to what we were saying? Where's mine? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, oh, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, 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 is he beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eye. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? Uh-oh. His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you, dipshits? <laughs> Boring. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's gonna be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Uh, we still don't know. I guess it's too early to say if we're wrong about that one. But that announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? There are several lists. Which one will you read out loud? List of TV programs. Mayumi Yamano, 411, Saki Kunishi, April 13th. What are these dates? April 11th? That's when the people were murdered. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. So then, what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi, April 13th? The day she was on TV? I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. They were interviewing her because she found the first bot. Then this part. Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? Do we need to have a chat intervention again? I can't always keep up with you guys, but don't be dicks, okay? Oh, she was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? When did that interview air? I, I think it was when I was absent from school. 
It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Intervene, meet, hike. Oh my god. <laughs> I went shopping that day, so... And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on. The date? Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. Mm. Murder mystery think game! About it. When the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Oh, Yosuke. Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. Oh! I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. Kanji! Dude has a big heart! That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. Aww. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... Kanji got, like, huge PP energy and a big, cheesy old heart. What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little <laughs> earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget. It's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual. I don't think killers work that way. <laughs> that reminds me. The school campout's next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? <laughs> Look at his face! He's cross-eyed! Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh... We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Huh? What's up? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Stop None talking about food! I'm gonna be so hungry! What?! I hate this game! Stop! Ah! Kanji just oh, wants yeah. to- I, I want to eat, now that's that all I want to do now. I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering too. Oh, Teddy. Teddy's having an ex having an existential crisis. It's kind of cute. Kanji! M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister. <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip bear. <laughs> uh, by the way, I I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko Senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone, too? Th that's... Not... What was it like for Senpai... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. <laughs> My jaw! I'll be more... 
more gentle next time. More gentle? <laughs> Dimwits. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. <laughs> Hurry and put them on. <laughs> sure, but hang on, aren't these different from everyone else? Oh god. Oh no, not those. Oh no. <laughs> it looks perfect on you <laughs> oh no <laughs> damn dude it looks great on you I had a normal pair ready for you but Yuki-chan insisted on this one she wouldn't budge Yukiko Savage yeah real funny you smart ass why are you taking it out on me Give me that! <laughs> Can't you grab the other pair of glasses that Teddy was holding? <laughs> you took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless oh, crap? Oh, damn! Those glasses look damn good on him! Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> damn, Kanji! I Looking good, looking suave. You're back. Oh, I'm just home all of a sudden. Okay, that was abrupt. They look. I can't believe how much those veggies just grow Great. overnight. Holy shit. I don't even know what these, uh, I don't even know what these do, and I just keep gardening. These could be completely useless, for all I know. I'm excited to- Duh. Cute. All right, I can't do anything with Dojima yet, I think. Hey. Um, yeah, sorry, Dojima. Night. Choco Flakes chilling on the lowest shelf. <gasps> yes. That was underwhelming. Okay, well that happened. I thought I was gonna pass out or something. <laughs> All right, time. I think I'll do uh, some translation on it tonight. shit now fuck yeah oh the instant noodles really hit the spot that's fantastic you know the rainy season's just about here isn't it a little early once it starts it'll be raining every night Poggy -wog. we'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Oh no. Why are you so excited about that? Why not? That's right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school camp out is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Oh, that sounds so lame. Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. Ugh. That's slave labor. 
Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. Oh, the four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents. I'm warning you. If you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. Uh-huh. Oh, this gets worse and worse. I thought it was gonna be fun. <laughs> Poor Yosuke. It's only for one night, and we disband before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Do they let you go swimming? I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Ha, ah, Yosuke. Yosuke can sleep with us, but, uh... He didn't come out yet. Hey, Narukami, did you know this week is health week and you're not part of the Student Health or Association? In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate lazy good-for-nothing kids like you. So I'm signing you up to take the place of a sick member. Uh, wait! That's not fair. Quiet, you! I don't know what school's like for you big city kids, but here, it's every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. Fine. I see, I see. Then go straight to the infirmary right now. They should be expecting you since I already told them you'd do it. Thank me. Okay. Oh, you Kuhn, was it? The transfer student, right? Did you get hurt or something? Nope. I was just forced here. You told them that you'd been sent here to replace a sick member. Thank goodness we are running low on people. We need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay and watch this room. Would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touching the medicine, of course. If someone's hurt, if someone who's hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The only other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. They're pretty uncommon though. It's gonna happen, you know it. Someone's here. Hello, I'm Kitao from Santo Pharmaceuticals. Hi. Hmm, aren't there any adults here? Could you deliver a message for me then? Your school placed an order for gauze, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after next. Give my regards to your teacher. Oh, we should have Sensei call him back. Do you remember his name? Kitao from Santo. Thinks, I think that was it. Yeah, it's uh, it, can it come in two months? The month after next. Did I did I get it? Oh, I gave them the correct information. Oh, oh, that's nerve wracking. All right, let's discuss what we found while we wait, went around the school. Okay, group one. Oh, that's right, you went alone. Uh, yeah, since Kanishi isn't here. Oh yeah, Kanishi-kun, he can't help it after what happened. Yeah, poor thing. So you just have to do his part two. I'm sorry I'm late. What an interesting portrait. More like interesting hair. What, how does your hair... Dude looks like he's actually from NSYNC or some shit. Like boy band member type of vibe. You don't have to come, really. Helping out at your parents' store is hard work, right? We have a replacement, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. You can help Yukun clean up this room, then. We'll go report to the teacher, so why don't you clean a little and go home? I want to be friends with the boy band guy. Yeah, you. I'm Kanishi, a first year. Uh, you knew Saki Kanishi. I'm her brother. Oh. Oh.
You're friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him, and you too. Oh. Well, this went 180. Can I go home now? Uh... No. Help me clean. I have to help out at home. It's a mess. You understand, right? You can go after you help. This is awkward. Yep, that's uh... Welcome back! That went south real quick. I can actually spend time with, uh, with Nanako now. Why do people die? Oh god, this is gonna be... This is a difficult question for a girl Nanako's age to understand. Alright. Let's have a conversation about death with a six-year-old. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. This is gonna be fine. You decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. This is wonderful. Hmm. I see this is hard, but I get it. Thank you, big bro. Is there anything else? Well... Oh, there is! What happens to a person when they die? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know. But it's like a kid. So like, you can't just say that, right? I if it's a kid, they go to heaven, Nanako. <laughs> so it's true, mommy went to heaven. Okay, that made her happy. Okay. <laughs> I saw this on the news, robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? <sighs> this is such a tough conversation, man. <sighs> These are both bad answers. <laughs> person, so I guess you wouldn't know. <sighs> if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. <laughs> Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to Dad than I am? Protecting you. I don't get it.
tough. Ah, God. I'm pretty sure most adults can't have conversations like that, and there's this six-year-old having deep-ass fucking conversations like that. Most adults can't do that shit. What the hell? It's June already, eh? Well, good news! Tatsumi-kun uh, from the first year is back with us, so try to set good examples. I know it's a rainy season and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go out and exercise, but watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the Haikon, uh, Hike and Die competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance, though I can see why men would be, would be afraid to try it. Hey, Yukun, what sport is Hike and Die? I actually have no idea. Something about balancing, so, um... Maybe it's a balance beam thing. Stating the obvious. I'm amazed that you knew that. Oh, okay. Being obvious is good. You should ask me if uh, if you have questions, Yukiko-chan, not him. Balance beam is hike and die in Japanese. I bet when you kids hear the word beam, you think about lasers or something, but it refers to the timber or beam. And balancing on a wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom! The sport of balance beam is born. Oh, I never really thought of it that way. Interesting. You're a smart guy, Yukun. Thank you. You're welcome. Justice Arcana's like to be deep. She's six! She's no fucking Akechi, man! Hey! Guess what I just heard? It's so different. Like with Akechi, it makes sense because he's a he's like a fucking five head, two hundred IQ, actually more like a thousand IQ guy. So like having deep conversations with Akechi is refreshing and nice. But then it's like it's different whenever you're like, man, Nanako is six. I, I, I... She's six. Guess what I just heard? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! Ugh. Uh, 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 what are you talking about? Oh wait, are you putting a baseball team together, Yosuke? No, not that kind of squeeze. <laughs> I guess it's more like... smooshing? What? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... Yosuke? I'm talking about how, when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! What does, Yosuke? What does? Look, don't make me spell it out! <laughs> anyway... I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Oh boy. Don't you think we deserve that much seeing as how we're investigating the case? Hi, Kanji. What's up, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. Kanji, no. No, we're not bringing a war. What's that mean, anyway? We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? Eh, the bike's all I need for that. In any Damn, case, we can't let boy. you in on our up close and personal plan. Up close and personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle, and then, and then, a girlfriend. Or boyfriend. Tell me more. Now that's my partner. All right then. 
You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Shut up, this'll work out. <laughs> as long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Yosuke, I'm right here. Now listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal? Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. What, fe feral zone? <laughs> no, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. We're talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones? <laughs> Dude, that's how a perv would react. What? <laughs> uh, Yosuke, I think you need to look in a mirror, dude. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. I thought you liked Pretty Boy, Kanji. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? Kanji, you're destined for Pretty Boy with cute hat. If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. <laughs> I'm serious about this. Uh. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun. Man, somewhere out there, the uh. best days of our youth are ahead of us. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Should you try consulting Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? I guess so. Oh boy! That was a great conversation. All right, my boy Funky Boy. Anything for me? No, fuck you! Funky boy, talk to me! <laughs> this is depressing. See who's available. Seeing if Yukiko's down here. And you! I can't hang out hey. with you! You want me to skip classes! But I don't know how! One day I'll find out. She seems like a bitch. I don't want to hang out with her. Alright, let's check the Junae's department store. Let's go to Walmart, kids. I also need to buy seeds. So, uh, some are strong with trouble. There's legends of bandits using it to stuff- uh, to this stuff to open locks. Oh. Cabbage! Cabbage. Okay. I got I'm growing cabbage. Don't worry. I got you. Gonna be growing cabbage soon. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> the way I 
hold up my umbrella while running. It's like it's not even protecting me from the rain at all. It's like in front of me. I don't get it. I accidentally, sorry, I said that, I said that Adachi is, uh, <laughs> sorry. I punched my microphone and it actually, fuck, oh god. Apparently me punching my microphone, it makes it mute. Um, I said that apparently Adachi, uh, is stealing cabbages. I, I can't trust a dude, you can't trust a dude that steals cabbages from people. He's a cabbage burglar. <laughs> just punch my microphone. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Went straight home. A lot of eating at Aya. I need to report to the fox, too. I, I need to solve that shit. God damn it. The mic was silencing us from the truth. We stole the cabbages. The, the girl, the girl needs cabbage. Adachi bought them all. This is very expensive to eat here. I really shouldn't be wasting my money here. But it gives you so much stat. Boo. Adachi's job can barely pay the bills. He's a detective. You'd think he'd have money to buy things other than fucking cabbage, man. <clears throat> Nothing ranked up! Bro, come on. Cabbage in that beef bowl. <laughs> I've never seen somebody like cabbage that much. It's just fucking cabbage, man. Oh! Ah, you're back. Hey, look, it's a cabbage burglar! Hi there! Hi! You want some eel too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Eel? That sounds nasty. Well, excuse me. It's delicious though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Totally. Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it, at least. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel, after all. I, I think we get it. I... <sighs> Just eat your dinner. Thank you, Dojima. Y yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. Thanks, Adachi. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? My man. Yeah, it's a hassle. Right? It's criminal. <laughs> you say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san, about some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. Oh! You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Pee 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 <sighs> pee 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 It's me. Hmm. 
All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. Huh. Bye. Where do you, wait, where is he going? It, it, he just walked. Not this license. What? He just walked Did you decide out. on this yourself? No one talked you into it. It was Yosuke's fault. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? He fucking booked it out. He could have been. We could be having this conversation, and he could be having his eel right now. I'll be careful with it. I'm sure I can trust you to do that. But allowing you to get one is another thing. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Where's Nanako? from Yosuke. Yo, it's me. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Okay. But the eel. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned, but there's no way to find out more about it for now. You should reveal, review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. Fine. Whatever. <gasps> Yosuke! Morning. I went to bed, but little details kept bugging me, so I'd get up again and check the manual. It never ended. I ended up getting almost no sleep at all. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's pass on the first try. How are you feeling? It'll be a breeze. Now that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten about our up close and personal plan. Oh God. Is that the name of this operation? Because if so, we stop now. And it's fucking... The date is 6-9. Let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. Great. You promised Yosuke that you would go get your license with him. Okay, fine. This is no coincidence. You okay? <laughs> okay. I got a scooter license! Oh, Pog! <laughs> we passed on the first try! Just like we planned! Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Don't you, Mom? Hi! Are you on duty? Just don't look at you when you make those noises. Uh, no. There's a wall between me and the kitchen, uh, so I can't see Dom. I just hear loud noises and I'm like, oh, I hope he's okay over there. We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? To get our licenses. Already? I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Sorry, I am academically super intelligent Dojima. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. 
Uh, thank you. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. I want a scooter license. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? What? Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. I'm letting you have it. You don't need it anymore? I thought I might someday, but I always use a car for work, so I never get a chance. I'd rather you use it than have it sit around collecting dust. Dojima! You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Shut up, Adachi. Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Bye! He just ran away! Pussy. Well, anyway. I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. Dojima! Wow. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're, you're hearing right. the game twice. Wait, are you guys really hearing it twice? You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. No. I'll hold you to Just that. Just let me know. Do you have two streams on? Not to my knowledge. There's a minor echo. That is weird. Hold on. Try that. All right, is that better? As you ride around and get a feel for the locals, uh, you'll be able to get to more places. It's a scooter you got from Dojima, and yeah, this is all the way down. We're good. It's because you abuse it. My poor microphone. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I punch it and I hit it all the time. I'm sorry. I'll just be nicer to it. Uh, ride around the neighborhood, take a long ride. I want to ride around... Wait, no, we're gonna take a long ride. You don't have a feel for the place yet? Oh. Yeah, I want to take the scooter for a ride. Can't tell unless we hear more dialogue. Okay. Thank you for letting me know, I appreciate it. See, that's fixable. After getting completely lost, you reach the station, but you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride around a little more to get better acquainted with the area. Your courage has increased. Cool. You're back. Package can be- <gasps> My commodities, yes! Give me a quick second, friends. I need to go get more water.
Okay, we're Gucci. What do people do? Janitor Jeff. Reading, 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 yeah. It's a it's a reading kind of night. Just don't know what to rank up, I guess. I don't know what I need. Hello, this is Yukiko. I'm sorry for calling you so late, but would you like to go inside the TV tomorrow? If we practice enough, I'm sure we can be prepared for anything. Please consider it. Lame. Okay, I have no idea what I need. Like, understanding... Understanding and diligence? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like a book that does more than one thing. Can't really go wrong with that, I guess. There's nothing I particularly need right now. Oh yeah, the the big oh the Pringles guy in Yukiko's castle. Yeah, uh, that guy. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I don't know. Yo, hi, Chie. I don't know who's gonna show up. I heard it's gonna rain this evening, but it's not gonna going to last. Oh, it's not gonna last all night. Hey, have you been trying to solve the case on your own in your spare time? I know, I should be thinking about it too, but that kind of stuff just isn't my specialty. How about you? I'm good at reasoning. I'm jealous. Well, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. I'll stick to kicking things. Times like this are perfect for working out. I'll stick to kicking things, that's great. You should take your scooter for a ride today, so I can go to more places. I guess I should. It's not a bad idea. I'm just gonna check the food store. I'm gonna go to Walmart first. Hi. Oh. Start with the housewives. Adachi, what do you mean you're starting with the housewives? Stop taking her fucking cabbage. This dude has a problem. So you need to take it out on a long ride a couple times to get familiar with the neighborhood, I guess. Wow, look at me, I'm so cool. Look at my new scooter license. Oh my God. After getting lost, you reach the hill overlooking town, but you feel as if you've gotten a very good feel for the place. If you ride around a little more, you'll be completely familiar with the area. I get courage by doing that, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna take you on <laughs> That's what Yosuke wants. Welcome home! Hi, Nanako! Oh, uh, you wanna- oh god, please don't have more depressing conversations, I swear to god. Please. Wait, I need to check on the garden first. Uh, don't look sad, don't- don't be sad, don't be sad. Oh fuck, we gotta maintain the garden, I'm sorry. You wanna feel Kanji's boobs on your back? I wonder if they're ready yet. I don't blame you. Uh who's the current crush? I don't really have a crush. I don't know. I, I don't know many characters, I feel. I would say the character I like the most is uh, Yukiko, probably. Rain's okay. Nanako thinks I like rain because that's when snails come out. Snails are so cute. If you touch their horns, they yank them back in.
Oh. <laughs> it's not their horns, it's their eyes! Don't tell her that! <sighs> okay, well, um, instead of hanging out with people, I'm gonna go ride around again, because... That seems like something that I should be doing. Yukiko is adored. All right, going around again. Whoa. <gasps> Okina Station? Whoa. You were able to make it to Okina City! You now have to the feel for the local area. You can now travel to you. Oh, no way. Days ending in two, zero, and six, as well as the 30th of the month, are bonus days. The 30th is an extra special day. The grand prize now is a Jack Frost doll. Supplies loaded. First come, first serve. Feel like making some money? Not yet. Maybe in a bit. Give me, give me a minute. I need to explore. Max! Kanji best boy. Kind of is best boy though. I, I love him. Thanks for the two months, Max. I appreciate it. A customer, you don't uh, put much value in your own life, do you? I like the look in your eyes. When you take a sip of the coffee I make, your consciousness will be swallowed by the rapids. Will you discover something there, or will you simply rot away? Don't worry, you will not be denied the opportunity, but you must have resolve. The man in sunglasses went inside the cafe. What? When you go to the cafe, you can drink coffee. You will spend time there, but you may be able to obtain something you never expected by drinking this brew. Okay. The coffee of this place sure brings back memories. You could barely stomach it, but you forced it down. I was in pain for three days and three nights after that. If I drank some now, would you take care of me? I told you, I'm not qualified for that. The coffee left them in pain for three days and three nights? Ah! Uh, uh, you don't come around here much, do you? How do I know? Because I'm here every single day. So you're from Inaba. I guess young people like this kind of town. It's busy and flashy and no one gives a damn about anyone else. That's why I'm here too. At least he's honest. Okina Station, North Exit. Uh, it's very different from the US... Okay, so that's the station. I don't really care. Uh, I'm too busy now and you're in high school. It just won't work out. Okay, I wasn't here to ask you out on a date, but okay. You came all the way from Inaba? Yeah, there's really nothing there. You're kind of cute, though. I think you'd look good in, in croco fur outfits. There's some strange employees at that store, so be careful. Viva la fashion revolution! Employ Welcome to Croco Fur. I'm Raiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Croco Fur has a wide selection of clothing from ladies and men. Fashion is passion. Now let's start a revolution. Please consult me if you'd like some tips on coordinating a fashionable look. By the way, you've caught my eye. I must say you're a rare bird. Your cool exterior doesn't completely hide your surging manliness. My fashion radar is ping ping pinging, comrade. Just for you, I'll make an exception and personally coordinate some charismatic ensembles for you. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. It's my number one recommendation for you, the agent set. A black suit that carries with it a little bit of danger. But put on the daring sunglasses that come as part of the ensemble and target the girl you're interested in with bullets of love. And if that doesn't tickle your fancy, we have some other wonderful outfits as well. The style is to die for. I'm Raiko Ice Osa, charismatic fashionista. Okay, you said your name twice. I get it. Clothes not listed as part of a set can only be equipped by the spe specified person. The clothes give that, that person a unique look, so try buying them to see what- Oh, this is just like clothes? Okay. That's expensive! Holy shit! You think I have money? Well, fuck that place. Okay. 
You're here to see a movie? Nice of you to come all the way from Inaba. Let's see an action flick, one that gets my blood pumping. There's no such thing in this day and age. Don't you have any other ideas? Oh, how about butter and soy sauce flavor? But I want tap soda too. I'm not talking about concessions. Oh, that's the conversation I was, okay. Maybe I should see a movie. Nah, sounds lame. Did you come by to see a movie? Yep. When I go to a movie, I feel like I come out of it a better person. I think uh, I think if you want to see a movie, you should see it with somebody else. That way you can take it over after, talk it over afterwards and grow together. Huh. You want to know what I just thought of? The first thing that came to my mind as a result of this conversation was the Mementos Missions manga. I don't know if any of y'all read it, but I did read it. And the latest chapter when um, Akechi and uh, Akira go in, or I guess in the manga, it's, yeah, in the manga, it's Akira. They go to the movie theater. And Akechi be looking all cute and shit. Just saying. Okay. Welcome to the Okina Station office. Can I help you with something? Uh, can you tell me about the area? So you're not an Okina native. Okay, I'll give you a few recommendations. First, there's a 30 frame. There's 30 frame. The movie theater right next to us. They get they get new movies in every month. Over the other side of Okina Station, there's Choco Croco Fur, a wonderful clothing store. I'd love to stop shop at something. Oh my god, I can't talk. And next to that in the, is the Cafe Chagall. The coffee there is uh, intense. And that's the gist of it. Feel free to ask me anything about Okina. I just got stationed here, it's, but it's great. It was my dream to be posted here. Sorry for blabbering. If you ever need anything, go ahead and ask. Okay, thank you. That was kind, I think. Akechi looking real cute in the manga. Akechi in the manga is... Chef's kiss. <laughs> Hey kid, I saw you riding that cool bike. Oh, so you come from Inova. Is it true there's nothing there except for Junais? Uh, yeah, it's true. I knew it. Well, it's not like this is the big city either. I like the countryside though. It's full of tradition, curses, and haunted places. Hey, uh, ignore her. She doesn't mean any harm. Full of cursed places, that's great. You can't go to the movies with the catchy in the game? Weird. I know, right? It's a fucking crime, dude. It's a fucking crime. Oh. Boom, boom. Oh, I'm monocratic. That's a that's a pretty message in the chat. Aw. Lol. Don't tell me how to live my life. Wow. <laughs> oh, bookstore. Yes. Oh, wait. I want to buy books. Oh, it's not open. Fuck. This place is small. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be like a cool place. Ugh. I miss Shibuya. If everyone, it's everyone's job to keep your neighborhood safe. Okay. All right, so um, this guy is depressed. <sighs> but I don't wanna go to the movie theater today. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go have some bad coffee. YOLO. 5,000 yen? That's so expensive. We're doing it. YOLO. Here you go. I'm impressed that you had the intestinal fortitude to set foot in here after all I said. My name is Moomun. I'm the owner of this establishment. And even though this cafe is a chain, I absolutely refuse to serve mediocre coffee. I will sacrifice my standards for no one. I'm scared. I've got an older brother. I don't keep in contact with him much nowadays, but I cause him quite a bit of trouble. He became a Buddhist monk following in our family tradition, but he's socially awkward. I wonder how he's doing. Sorry about that. When I start reminiscing, I have a hard time controlling myself. Well, drink up. It's a sublime cup of coffee. No, it's more than that. It's an experience. If you underestimate it, it'll break you. The inside of your mouth is getting numb. Okay. It's sharply acidic, yet the body 
uh, is full and rich with sweet undertones. This flavor, it's bold. It's too bold. As you're swept up in a black torrent of flavors, you desperately reach towards something and grasp it. You obtain the Dia skill card! What?! A card icon will be displayed in Persona status screen skill listings. Drink coffee when you have a Persona equipped that knows a skill with this card icon and you can obtain a card with that skill. Oh. Developing more Personas will help you to gain more skill cards, so experiment and see what you can find. I don't know if that was worth it. You don't think Goro watches TV in his free time at all? Nah, dude just reads books and studies. Don't see him being a TV kind of guy. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. I did lose consciousness, but just wasted my whole night. Oh, uh, garden, yes. The dude reminds me of, um... They look yummy. The owner of that coffee shop reminded me of the owner of the jazz club. I think his name is Muhen. Had similar vibes. We've got veggies! We have veggies! Alright, cabbage time! <laughs> These ones are for Adachi. Hang out with Nanako, go out. What do people do? This helps me. Whoa! Uh, uh oh, Adachi's a person too. But Nanako. Let's just see. I don't even know if I can rank up with Adachi. <laughs> with Adachi yet. I'll just go. <clears throat> see. Oh. Yeah, I have seen the lyrics to No More What Ifs. Uh, hi, Adachi. Oh. I soon new parties at night. I'm so exhausted from work. I had to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. Okay, well, I guess it's an Adachi kind of night. All right, here we go. Huh? Uh, I guess we talked about that the other day. Uh, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. I am? I guess I'm a cook. Yeah, it's a blind playthrough. Uh, Dojima residence living room. You brought Adachi here for dinner. Big bro. The potatoes are still hard. Today we're having shoe. Oh, you mean stew? Oh, oh! Yes, yeah, shoo, stew! Hey, you did it! Do you like stew, Adachi san? Mm, yeah, kinda. Kinda? Uh. I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I had some. So, do you cook like this all the time? I bet Dojima san tells you all the time what a great help you are. Yeah, yeah. He does. He doesn't really tell me that, actually, no. But I'm gonna say yeah. Really? He doesn't seem like the type to come out and say it. Okay, yeah, he does. He's not. He doesn't. Ah, fuck. Bad option. So I heard you were moving back in the spring. I bet Dojima-san is going to cry. Nanako was looking down sadly. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. It's, that's still a long way away. Yeah. Um... Hey, Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Now watch closely. You watching? Oh, <gasps> the coin disappeared. Oh, how? Why? Again, do it again! 
Now this time I'll show you an even better one. Look in your bro's big, uh, big bro's pocket. Oh, wow, you're the best Adachi san. Aww. You like magic tricks? <laughs> Not particularly, I'm just good with my hands. Stuff like this comes easy to me. Oh! Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Maybe I should have been a magician, then I wouldn't be in such a... Uh. Oh well. Guess there's no job like a government job, it's like... I can make a living working with my hands. He's a detective. He technically he, he's supposed to work with his mouth, not his hands. That sounds awful. God! <laughs> Taken out of context, that sounds awful. Being a detective is all about your eyeballs and your mouth hole. You know? How you talk to people, getting information out of people, and your observational skills. What was his line before? Maybe I should have been a magician. I think Adachi's true calling in life is being a clown. He doesn't want to be a detective. He wants to be a clown. Magic tricks galore. I'm figuring this guy out. So detectives use mouths like a catchy- oh my god! <laughs> That's for Joker. That's a Joker exclusive. Shiatsu? Shoo! Wrong! No, I said it right! <laughs> Go to horny jail, bitch! I am in horny jail! <laughs> Can't help myself, sorry. They belong together. <laughs> You have the day off from school today. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. What should you do? I don't know what to do today. <laughs> Hello? This is Yukiko. Do you have time to come out today? Sure. I guess I could. Uh... Uh, uh, sure. Thank you. I wrote down everything I need, so this shouldn't take that long. Uh, what are you making? Uh, uh, Promise you won't laugh. A uh, miso soup. <laughs> I'm studying the basics of the basics, but it's not turning out quite like it does in the book, even though I'm following the directions. Want me to teach you? <laughs> really? I'll pass, but thanks anyway. Oh, okay. I think there's no point unless I do it alone. Our cooks only help me- uh, our cooks help me out all the time. At first, they just give me advice, but eventually they take the knife from me. So even if the meal turns out wonderfully, it doesn't mean anything that way. I told them to leave me alone, but they still stay and watch. Hmm. Are they that worried about my cooking? They care about you. They care about me? Do you really think so? Last time the head chef took the knife from me, shouting, I can't stand to watch anymore and made, made the rest. The waitress saw it and said to the head cook, Yukiko wants to make it herself, even if it's awful. Before I knew it, I was studying how to cook for a boy I like.
My parents got involved and it exploded from there. Funny, isn't it? But maybe it wasn't all a lie. To taste my food again, okay? Okay! You felt a faint hint of love from Yukiko! <laughs> uh. She's cooking for the boy she likes. Uh. Shopping, yay! All right, let's go home. Pheromones! <laughs> oh. Welcome back. Nanako went shopping. Thank you. Five days for cabbage. Oh God. Hey. Ah, uh, Dojima won't become closer yet. No! Fuck you, Dojima. Bye. I kind of want to read. That's what he meant by pheromones. Yep. Uh, yes. You haven't bought anything from the TV program. Oh, it's Sunday. Oh my God, another week. Uh, sh wow. Tanaka! Fire suppressor with herbal pills. I'm going to get the second one. I need to remember that I want to go to the movies on the 30th. They said it's a special day. Okay, read, work, uh, god, I feel like I need to work because I, I, I need money. Expression, understanding, maybe, uh, wait, sorry, which? Let's make origami cranes for some understanding points. You suddenly forgot how to make origami cranes? Rely on muscle memory. That works. Nice! Muscle memory for the win. How do you just, like, forget? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Yeah, Tanaka doesn't have, uh, shades on. Oh! Summer! People began wearing summer clothes. Ah, oh, Summer outfits! Cool. It's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe. So refreshing. I hope it's not gonna get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I heard there's gonna be less rain than there was last year. I once forgot how to open a door all of a sudden. It was the weirdest feeling. <laughs> Yosuke! What's up? I do want to hang out with you, actually. Right. We're slacking on his social link. Just a tad. Good afternoon! Are you all awake today? June is in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and heat. But doesn't waste your don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. It's 
Speaking of mold, lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. The lactic acid they produce guards against mold. That's why foods containing lactic acid bacteria don't get very moldy. Your bodies are also produce lactic acid when you exercise. Oh, so we can't get moldy. That's great. All right, Narukami, tell me what kind of exercise builds up lactic acid in the muscles. I don't know. Aerobics. Anaerobic. Oh, okay. Aerobic exercise such as jogging uses lactic acid as energy, so it's hard to build up. All right, now that we've learned about lactic acid, everyone do 10 dashes. It's time for some anaerobic exercise. Fuck you. Your body will be clean and mold free. That's all I wanted in life was to be not moldy. Thanks, game. All right, we have to we have plans with Yosuke. Wait, he's in my bedroom? Yosuke pretty much barged in. It's pretty clean. So you keep the goods under your futon? I do. <laughs> Why are you acting so dignified about it? All right, I'll check him out when you do, when you go take a piss or something. I'll expose your embarrassing tastes. <laughs> so you ever invited a girl here? Uh, I will soon. For reals? Seriously? That means you're working on someone? Yosuke is keyed up. <laughs> hey, big bro? Oh no, not Nanako. Have you seen the public notice anywhere? Nanako-chan's here? Let's let her in. <laughs> Fucking Yosuke. Are you free today? No, I'm going to Takeyoshi-kun's house and with Miwa-chan and Yo-chan. A guy's house? Um, Takeyoshi-kun sits next to me. I'm gonna deliver the public notice to him. Miwa-chan said she's going with me because she likes Takeyoshi-kun. Because she likes him? <sighs> Man, kids sure are mature these days. <laughs> well, my first love was in first grade too. I've always been ahead of my time. I don't really need that in my life right now. It's just not the time. I have something I need to do before that can happen. Homework? No, well, uh, maybe it is. You're smart, Nanako-chan. Nanako left for her friend's house. Nanako-chan called it homework. Catching the killer, ending the murders, bringing peace to the town, only we can do it, huh? Let's hang in there. I'm counting on you. Yosuke! I don't know what to do with this horny man. <sighs> so did the notice reach you yet? The one about joining the Young Men's Association. What? You're talking about having some kind of event to boost the economy. Economy. Junez is involved with it, so they're trying to rope me in. I don't have time for that. I told him I was busy, but they keep dodging me, dogging me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or about boosting the economy. <laughs> All right, time to take a peek under the futon. <laughs> See you later. You're back. Yosuke, why? 
Yosuke, why? Huh. Everyone wants to spend time with Dojima. I mean, there's really not a lot to do at home. I, I like reading books, though. I, I need to both read books and work. Fuck. <sighs> pee -pee, pee -pee -pee. Hello, it's me. How's your schedule tomorrow? Let's go inside the TV. You know, we have to keep training just in case. I'm not going to force you, so don't stress over it. I don't want to go into the TV. Thank you. I'm good. Just pictures of Yosuke under that futon. <laughs> Bitch, there might be. <laughs> but Yosuke keeps saying that he's straight. He doesn't know yet. He just, one day he'll accept it. One day. You know, one day when Yosuke comes out of the closet, you know, I'll be there welcoming it with open arms. Yep. I'll be there just waiting. You ever hear students talking? Oh, all right, time to listen on people's problems. The school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? All right, it's gonna be all work. I'm gonna have, I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Ah, there has to be some way. I can ditch this stupid camp. All right, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. Do we really need to get out of this, though? I, I don't think we do. Okay, uh, I don't know who to hang out with. For some reason, everybody wants to go into the fucking TV main. <sighs> I haven't gone out in a while. Oh, I've been ignoring Yumi for a long time. I should probably fix that. She just scares me, man. Yo, Funky Boy, looking good in your summer outfit, I see. All right, all right, you looking good. Looking fly. Fuck yeah. Yo, my man, he's got some fucking style. Did you know that there used to be a cleaning club at this school? I'm the last surviving member of that club. I mean, everyone else has graduated already. I will this year. Even though the club will be gone, I'm looking for someone to continue my passion. You seem promising. Would you be interested in succeeding me? Sure. I'd like you to get the equipment that shows you're indeed worthy of taking on passion with for cleanliness. Okay. I want you to bring a tool and clothing that is fitting for cleaning. I'd like you to bring these back to me. Okay. Try asking someone near the workshop in the practice building. What you wear doesn't have to be anything special. Just remember that they're, uh, they'll get dirty while you're working. Maybe you can find what you need at a clothing store. Ugh, sounds like work, man. I'll do it later. Funky student should join the party. He really should, man. He really should. I need to go to Okina City more often, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should go to the movies or something. That stupid coffee shop. I'm never going back. Never. Um, is uh, no. It's not one of the special days for the movie theater, so fuck that shit. We're going back to Inaba. Are all the other members dead? <laughs> it's very ominous. Dude, all of my money. I had money at the beginning of this. At at the beginning of this stream, I actually had money, but it's all going away. It's depressing. Well, I guess I could sell stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe I should do that, actually. Do you know what Inaba trout are? You can fish for them at the Samigawa River and they make a great pub snack. If you like to fish, maybe you could go catch one for me. Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> Money! Cool. Well, that 
helped. What happens in the cleaning club stays in the cleaning club. I need to get a janitor outfit, apparently. I need to check uh, for postings, too. Maybe I will eat at the diner? Pub dishwasher. So I have to go to the pub at night. Okay, and then hospital janitor. Gives you a shot of courage. Okay. Got another job. So many jobs. Alright, and then I can also be a tutor. 10,000 yen! That's... Whoa! That's a good paying job. Oh, my understanding needs to be saintly. Oh, fuck. Shit. Not good enough for it. Whatever. Wait, I kind of want to see what other people do real quick. Yeah, a culture club! Fuck that. It's the hardest to do, yeah. I see. But it pays really well to be a tutor. No! One day I'll be able to finish this meal. One day. Still nothing ranked up! Oh my god. Fucking game, man. Fuck drama. <laughs> Fuck the drama club. Yumi scares me. Although I do need to hang out with her. She got some serious issues and we gotta work it out. If you want, you can change the channel. Why are you looking sad? You might as well try a magic trick. Nanako is watching curiously. You decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band on your index and middle finger. You also hook it around- uh, hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? When you open the hand, you had closed lightly. The rubber band springs off the index finger and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. I saw it. It, it went like zoom. Do it again. <laughs> One more time. She seems delighted anyway. Okay, my turn now. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Aww. <laughs> You're turning into a dachi. Getting good with my hands. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I won't make the joke, but you guys know what I'm about to say, so I don't need to say it. My very own- wait, uh, wait till you hear this, I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on cloud nine all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin out to Okina after school? You know, I, you once promised you would. The up close and personal plan, eh? Hey, you remembered, that's my partner. It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is let out. Yuki does, he does keep calling me partner. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's gonna be a place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. And I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that. What, you don't know the difference between morals and morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is, tell me Hanamura, you seem to be lacking in morals. Rude? Damn it, King Moron. I thought I knew, but now I'm doubting myself. Sorry, you. Tell me what morale... Uh, morale is... Um... <laughs> How do you describe morale? Like, group morale. It's like... Your desire to grow, I guess. It 
could also be cheerfulness. Uh, I don't know how to define a word that you know the meaning of. Uh, 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 um, let's say the, the desire to grow. A prime example of how low morals led uh, low morals led to one person bringing downfall upon another. You're both wrong. Hanamura, Narukami, listen up. Morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. You remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale and their morals. And the and mor <laughs> God, this is so confusing. Uh, and maybe that'll happen to you if you keep living lives of your of your low morals and low morale. What the hell? They have nothing to do with this. You embarrassed Yosuke. You should apologize to him later. Nah, he'll be fine. He's fine. Yeah, don't backseat. <laughs> it's okay. I don't read chat anyway whenever Hello? I don't want to be backseated. Station. That was easier than I thought. Uh, that was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. Kanji! <laughs> that was a breeze. Hi, dude, I missed you. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. Wait, I thought Yosuke was a sugar daddy. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? Where are you going, Kanji? Since I came all the way to Okina, there, there's this craft shop? It, it, it's nothing, I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Kanji? Then why'd he come with us? Our plan's more important. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. <laughs> the early summer sunlight feels nice. Three hours? They've been waiting for three hours? <laughs> Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. I don't get the, uh, I want to go home. Uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer, Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Uh... It's Yosuke's fault. Actually, no, I'm just gonna blame myself. Is it my fault? Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. I don't look so bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, Yosuke? You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Hey, don't be dissing my scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? What? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys! Kanji? This isn't a fight, you know. What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. <laughs> now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. 
I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. <laughs> you chicken? Ch That's oh. not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend, and then make them say yes. Nothing to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Only girls count for this, all right? What? You're still stuck on that? Why only girls? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest. Okay. Why did we even start this? Anyway, my highest priority is to make sure Kanji doesn't beat me. Wait, okay, so let me get this straight. I'm gonna win, first of all. We're having a competition on who's gonna nut first? Am I kidding? These girls look lame. Oh, you. I like the look of you. Older lady. Gosh dang it. Nothing today. Nothing. There's an older woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. Can I help you? You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? I am a... Uh, a fresh-faced high schooler. I'm a go getting. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. I'm too like I I'm, I'm too honest for this shit. Fuck. I'm a hard-working adult! I'll show you I can't be honest. I can- I can be dishonest, yeah. Where? Do you work for a listed company? What's your annual take-home? The woman is suddenly looking at you differently. Are you the oldest child? Second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you live with your parents? Is your parents' home, house, a rental? Or do they own? Is it a house or an apartment? The woman has a rapid fire stream of questions. Oh, sorry. I just like knowing these things. Just so as to not give you the third degree here, let me introduce myself. I'm a house homemaking assistant by trade and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. And I'm groovy, hip with it, 23 year old. She don't look 23. Something rings strange about what she just said. She really 23 years old? Older question mark lady! <laughs> She's looking at you expectantly. Oh no! What? <laughs> We can split the housework and childcare. Oh, do you like kids? How many do you want when we get married? Oh my god, run away, run away, run away! I actually have my half, my half of a marriage license all filled out already and oh my god! Oh my god, do you want to sign it? No, um, oh uh, god, leave. This seems like a good time to come clean about the fact that you're in high school. Um, what second year of high school? You're just a kid? Don't make passes at me, you stupid little boy! If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else! You should give a
nice. Uh, but didn't that their daughter just come of age? They're a couple housewives. Maybe you should talk to them. Talk to them. Yeah, they seem nice. Um, can I get your number? <laughs> I hate this protagonist. What the hell? What are these responses? What is happening? <laughs> Oh my god, what would you do with an old lady like me? Uh, though, well, I shouldn't brag, but I was the talk of the town in my younger days. <laughs> me too, the men in town call couldn't stop talking about me. They called me the Black Widow of Okina. You're making me remember things. You're a handsome one, though. I'm sure you must be popular at school. You look serious, but I bet you play the field. I'll take whatever's there. Oh, a womanizer at such a young age. I regret my decisions. <laughs> Will you be careful with women? If you fool around too much, you'll enrage some poor soul and then you'll go to hell. Oh. Dang it. Where'd Kanji go? Kanji's got somebody too! Oh fuck! These girls look like snobs. Ah fuck, you look nice. Beautiful lady. There's a gorgeous woman here. Will you talk to her? Yes. What does a cute boy like you want with me? Are you a oh my god. All of these answers suck. I don't know what to say. Oh. It's love at first sight. You're so funny. I like boys like you. I kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. How do you feel about older women? I love them. Oh, really? Then we might be a good match. Do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean. And not if you don't. And if you don't, uh, what? <sighs> if you want, but if you want, I could teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well. One more push and you may be able to get our number. Well, do you want to play with me? Yes, please. You're adorable. I'm starting to like you, but I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. So this is your chance to ask her for your phone number. Will you try to get her digits? Ask it. All right, here you go. Just for you. Call me, won't you? I got her number. To go not as well as i hoped I we got so. the digits let's go oh but i did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call does that count i got a phone Girl number hit too. on you what did she say something like it only costing so much for an hour i don't know what was she talking about it only costs so much for an hour are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Of course. Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? Yep. What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please, pretty please, please. No. What times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? Right? What? Stop. You decided to try and call the number you got. Oh no, she better have given me her phone number, not like a fake one. 
She picked up. <gasps> okay, good. I was worried for a second. Senpai's the man. Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? No! No, 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 no! Let me talk to the girl. Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. I could hear him from here. <laughs> Was that dude for real? I got the digits, but what? But why? Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Oh no, I was so proud, man. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we go to the same school. Oh, no, no, no. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... I don't like where this is going. Wait. That voice. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, <sighs> how did you get my number? Oh, God. Ah! Oh, you're such deep shit. Did, did I call the wrong number? <gasps> One more try. Hello, it's me. Uh, why did you call back? Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? Hanako question mark? Hanako question mark? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh. I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. <laughs> Am I cursed? 
first? Did I insult a gypsy or something? It's a curse. Cheer up, Yosuke. It'll be okay. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. My eyeballs. Ooh. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. No, hop behind me. No, me. No. Whoa, up close and personal. Now, so this is what your plan was about. <laughs> oh, you don't get anything, and you're freaking me out. And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. <laughs> you You saw Yosuke off to the station and decided to go home with Kanji. You should be able to go come to Okina on your own now if you have enough experience with your scooter. Tion! Oh my god, I miss your fucking face, dude! Welcome home! Holy shit! I love you, Tion. Thank you for 21 months! Holy shit, it's good to see you again. Ugh. There's a delivery for you. Oh, we got Tanaka's shit. All right, let's go. Oh boy, I can't, my nose. I was laughing so much that it made me all like congested. Go to the hospital? Wait, I could work at the hospital tonight? But Nanako. Oh gosh. Oh. There's a frozen banana. Oh, let's eat the banana. The word dad is written on the banana peel. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no. Jay, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. Oh God. I'm sorry, Nanako. I ate dad's frozen banana. Just one bad occurrence after another. Oh no. I'll just hang out. If I hang out with Nautico, it's, it's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. We'll just hang out with her. It's fine. It's a documentary, documentary about a young father. Oh my God, I can't talk. About a young man searching for his real father. Nautico is staring into the TV. Real father. Hey, big bro. What do they mean by real? This girl ain't no Akechi. She needs to stop having deep conversations. Oh my God. Please. <sighs> what do they mean by real? I don't want to say this one. Person you love a lot. <laughs> then you're my real big brother. Oh! And dad's my real father. Mm. But I don't think dad really loves me. Maybe... I'm not real to him? Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter. That's not true. But Dad's not here. Mommy. I'm gonna cry. 
Why'd she leave me? When mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Samegawa. Camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? You should do everything. <laughs> I hate this main protagonist! Just kidding. He's got some serious fucking sass, dude. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke-kun know. He really is a fucking Chad. Dude is... Incredible. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms. Are radishes the same as turnips? Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Nope. Hmm. I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour! Which one should we get? All purpose? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well. Let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi, too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds, though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. She almost had it. Yogurt's a viable ingredient. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. We are going to die. We're gonna this die. Is going to kill us, We're gonna die. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. We're gonna die. You're back. Tomorrow we're gonna die. We're just done. Dojima, I'm sorry I ate your frozen banana. I'm really sorry about it, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. He's gonna disown me. Kick me out because I ate his frozen banana. Remember, kids. This ain't gonna be coming along. <clears throat> 
Persona 5 curry. Chef's kiss. Don't give him those puppy dog guys. He'll be back to the next back the next day. Aww. I'm not spoiled. I'm in first grade now. She's in first grade. Nice. I haven't made my will, no. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, Olo. I appreciate it. Uh, I should write my will tonight. You're right. Today's the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. Okay, well, we're, uh, we're gonna die today. Hanukkah. All that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Akechi and Nanako are about to eat that curry. You can only save one. Choose. That is cruel. That is absolutely cruel. Thank you for the hundred bits. You can't make me choose between Akechi and Nanako. Holy fuck. I literally can't. I can't. I... Uh, I'm gonna take a rain check on that one. Dude, the girls cook just for us. <laughs> Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi in behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Um, 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 I suddenly feel uh, you shouldn't eat it. Uh, you shouldn't eat it, Yosuke. Just, uh, just don't eat it. Oh, no way. I'm not falling for that. You just want it all for yourself, huh? Ah! I can't wait to dig in. True. Akechi has thick skin. He's He survived death twice. I mean, he would probably survive a third time. You're right. Gotta have faith in the guy. He don't die easy. Should we taste this? Yes, taste your food! Oh my god, it's spewing purple shit! We're literally going to die. Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh god. It's poisoned. It's literally poisoned. Oh man, here it comes. Oh no. Oh, this is where we die. Actually, so yeah. Thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate it. We put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay, then. Chow time. <laughs> It's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well. But it does offer a wide variety of textures. A wide variety of textures. It's nauseating. Come on, it's not that bad. You didn't even try your own food. That's just your opinion.
I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Pret pretend to eat it. Oh. The second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. Oh. We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm so, not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Is that Hanako's food in the bed? She just made a whole pot for herself. Oh my god, her fucking plate! Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! No way! I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. No comment. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us That's teachers unhealthy. to have some boo. Mr. Mabuka? Uh, off to bed! Lights out! It's not good to go to sleep right after you're eating. You Done eating. Gonna pay for this. Fucking king moron. The name precedes you. Night. That is a very large plate of food. Ooh. Inside you and Yosuke's tent. Ooh. Oh, Kanji's here too. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. Oh. And the first year's ten is all quiet. Like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Say as long as you want. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Hell yeah, I am. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? Pipe down. Didn't you say you weren't going to make any noise? Uh. Yo, senpai, <clears throat> can't you go just a little further back? Just nope. cuddle. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Just cuddle. Cuddle time. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? <laughs> yeah. That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. 
King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? Animal cra- I want animal crackers! What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. <laughs> penguin? The secret animal cracker. You were eating them and you didn't know that? Kachi, I love you! Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. <laughs> oh, well. I love this uh, man. This isn't gonna fill me up. <laughs> Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. <laughs> Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? What do you mean? Y Yosuke, you literally have the most space. And I can't sleep over there. Or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. You uh, have so much okay. room. Just cuddle, yeah. just cuddle. Why'd you come to this tent? Because he's gay. <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. <laughs> This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh. Okay. Oh no. Are we having the talk? Are you really. you know. Am I really what? Say it. What I mean is. Um. Are we gonna be safe alone <laughs> with you? No! You're not! What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys, I'm not like that. Kanji, it's okay. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? Oh, Twitch, no! Oh, no! Wait, let me know. Let me know when Twitch comes out. I'll, I'll hold it, I'll hold it, hold on. I'll wait it out, we're waiting it out, we're waiting it out. You're good now? I'll wait. Just a, I'll give it like 30 seconds ish, minute. What is happening with Twitch? Hello? Just refresh. Okay, so a good refresh does the work. <laughs> Twitch really do be dying at the worst times. Ugh. Yeah, so we were like, uh, when did it when did it cut out for you guys? I stopped as soon as you guys were spamming the chat, so I didn't go anywhere. What, what, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, well then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. <laughs> hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm well. How do I put it? Uh. Yeah? Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? Yosuke, stop pestering! Prove it. The poor guy! Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. <laughs> Yosuke. To hell with this. If that's what you really think of me. Then I'm gonna go hit the girls' tent right now! Kanji, don't force yourself! Uh, wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Unfortunately. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. 
Kanji, no. No. Dude, seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop it. Go get him, tiger. Oh, my God. Don't do this, Kanji. But he's not listening? You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Kanji, no. Kanji! Uh, hey, what? No. What? I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Yosuke, you are 100% responsible for this. Don't make the man uncomfortable. He's... Duh. Kanji's having a hard time. Oh, now I get why we're the only three in here. Oh. I can't sleep. Keep up Yo, the Lord Venus, thank you so much for the four the months. I appreciate it. Oh. And I'll I'm try, man. I'll try. Too. <laughs> Kanji, go burr. A more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. Can't sleep. We can't walk around. Can't do shit. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he. <sighs> that does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? What? That, uh, that, uh, uh, that would kill, uh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Yukiko, no! That would kill her, uh, Yukiko, um, Yukiko? Oh, I can't take it anymore. Ugh! If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's... Out cold. Oh. I I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. But what? That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Uh-oh. Does that mean Kanji's in a tent with Hanako? Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Uh, we're in not here. If I say we're not here, he's just gonna barge in. But if I say we're here, oh god, these are both bad options. Uh. We're here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? 
Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I was... Okay, he left. Whew. Oh, I was holding my breath the whole time. There goes it. No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. Wh what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. Oh boy. He spent the night cramped up in a tight space. Well. So how is Kanji faring with Hanako? Oh, I guess we never get to find out. Looks like we're the only ones here. Oh, this is What's pretty. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. It, it, it was a dream! Must have been a dream! Okay... Kanji doesn't remember anything. It's for the best. Alright then, let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... But what? Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Chie. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. Yosuke. No, it's really too bad. Yosuke's been Maybe losing a lot of points the past few days. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. What the fuck? They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. He just has them. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. You know, we really were looking Yusuke, forward to dinner. Yusuke, you're being terrible! I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Already, Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Uh... Stop staring like that! I dumped Yosuke Kanji as my new boyfriend. Hey. You look... Oh, you both look cute. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's, uh, uh... If I'm gonna be honest, I would say Yukiko. But then I feel like that's mean.
<laughs> you look cute, Yukiko. Stop it. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Ah, uh, shut up, Yosuke. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Uh... Don't you think so? I don't know about that. You guys crossed the line. Definitely. <laughs> it's freezing! You didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. <laughs> ah! They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Aw, poor Kanji. Uh, what? Kanji! 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 Ew! <laughs> that was close. What? what was that for? I didn't do anything! Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? Yukiko is my spirit animal. I would have done the same. Except I wouldn't have done that to Kanji, though. It seems that King Moron is vomiting further up the river. Oh, God. was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. Yosuke kind of deserved this punishment, but I don't know. Kanji definitely did. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Fuck the main protagonist. He's a fucking Chad. I don't care. <laughs> uh, how was the school camp? Oh, you know, it went great, Nanako. It was fucking fabulous. My cabbage is ready. Oh, this game is special. They look yummy. Woo, that's some good looking cabbages. I'm surprised Adachi didn't come over and fucking steal them from my garden. I guess I can go out tonight. No, I can't. Wait, oh. It's forcing me. Worst camping trip ever, yep. Uh, that's, uh, that was a camping trip. That was, uh, a, well, it... Interesting. To say the least. And now we're gonna talk about murder, I bet, in a couple days. The plot's gotta pick up at some point. Is it time to talk about murder? You haven't bought anything from the Hone Shopping Program. Oh my god, it's Sunday again! No, Tanaka, stop taking my money! <laughs> uh... 
power belt with herbal pills. Huge fish with ice cubes. Whoa. An ice cube with a huge fish. Oh my god, we're going for the huge fish. Hell yeah. So how do you... So that's a better question. How do you ship ice cubes in the mail? Magical ice. <laughs> ah, I'm getting sent some magical ice, I guess. Yes, we do spend our uh, evenings buying fish through the TV. Because what else are you going to do? Hi, Yosuke. Yo! Is it a Yosuke kind of day? I don't know, actually. I have no idea. Let me see who's in the shopping district first. You're more concerned about the fish being in the mail for three days. That's also true. You got the fish and the ice cubes. It's a weird combination, man. Oh! Hey, you there! Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? It's nice of a young man like you to spend time with an old lady like me. Listen to what I have to say. Do you know what a wedding veil is? Yes. Uh, that's very admirable of you as someone uh, in someone as young as you. When a woman gets married, she wears a veil. I was told it prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. My mother-in-law insisted that I wear one. It's uh, outrageous that you'd even consider not wearing one, she said. She's always, uh, she always did what she wanted in life. I'm not joking. She really didn't like me, not at all. Anyway, I refused to wear a veil and we ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. And before I knew it, here I am, just as old as she was, shouting and getting angry at everybody. But I'm starting to regret it. I'd say my horns finally fell off, uh, fell out or something, wouldn't you? Anyway, I thought I should hang some horns above my head as a symbol of how I'm turning my outlook on life around. I'd tell visitors, oh yeah, those were, uh, those were the horns I grew after I got married. Hehe, <laughs> but nobody sells them. Uh, um, um, I, I'll be able to, okay. That's so nice of you. I'm counting on you to find some good ones now. Okay. Whoa! I didn't even know that you could spend time with Marie. What? Okay. I guess I should go to the velvet room. Oh, this quest too. Ah, fuck. Who's this kid? You're new. Oh, no, no! Oh, this kid, he's the murderer. Uh, he's the guy. This kid is definitely the murderer. <laughs> Ah, fuck. If P5R taught me anything, it said don't judge a book by its cover, huh? Okay, I'll, I'll, I, I, okay, not judging him, not judging. Don't judge a book by its cover, don't ju judge a book by its cover, don't judge a book by its cover. Ah! He's really fucking creepy. Alright, I'm gonna go to the velvet room. My feelings are a little bit conflicted right now. Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. I didn't actually mean to leave. Sorry. I'm coming right back. Hi, Igor. Good to see you. Huh? 
You came, I'm surprised I didn't think you were interested. Look, I'm sure you already know, but I want to I want you to take me somewhere. Zoopsy, thank you so much for the What's up? I appreciate it. Uh, it's small, it's dark, the nose never says anything. It's stuffy in here. Uh, I'm really not supposed to leave the room, but Margaret says it'd be okay if I went with you. Well, never mind. So, will you take me somewhere? Sure. I'll have you twisted around my finger if you keep this up. That's the saying, right? I've been studying. Let's go. Who the fuck are you? We're taking Marie out! In front of Suzai Daikaku. You took Marie out of the velvet room. I can finally breathe now. It's stuffy in that car. You were so strange. You know, I feel weird. It's like nostalgic for the smell and all. Nostalgic? Yeah, nostalgic. That's what I said. It just feels that way. There's a lot of stuff that I've never noticed before. A steak skewer? Hey. Hey, lady, I want one of those skewer things. Oh, hello. 320 yen. It's difficult to say. 300 twin bleh. That's hard to say. You can't eat without money? Are you like human? What? What? I don't understand you. Uh. Uh, um, want me to pay for it? Huh? You have money? That's awesome. You're awesome. Marie looks surprised. What's up? Oh, hi, Yosuke. Getting your steak on, huh? She's cute. What? What's going on here? Who's this? Uh, she's a friend. Friend? I guess I don't know. I see a friend, you say. Oh yeah, I'm Ho Yosuke Hanamura. I'm his friend, his partner, you know. Partner? You mean like a close friend? <laughs> that about sums it up. What's your name? Marie. Marie-chan, is it? You want a steak skewer? All right, this one's on me. Sugar daddy coming on in hot. Is that okay? Uh. There's no reason to decline. <laughs> I got a little extra in my last paycheck. Three steak skewers, one for each of us. Oh, sugar daddy, hello! Is that a belly full or what? This place always has huge portions. So, Marie-chan, what do you think of the local specialty? It's really weird, it's tough, hard to bite into, and it got cold while I was still eating it. It was delicious! Oh, uh, that's good. Didn't sound like you liked it at the beginning there, but all's well that ends well. Hey. What's it called? Steak, anyway? Is it short for something? It's short for... Steak! steak? That's stupid. Yeah, it is. It's really fucking dumb. This town really likes their fucking steak. I don't get it. Might as well just call it... Ache. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. That isn't much better. And you! Don't tell her lies! She's believing it! You eat this every day? No fair. I should have come earlier. Whoa! I left my key back in my locker at work. I gotta go back to Junae's. See you later, you. You too, Marie-chan. Your partner is a funny person. That he is. But he bought me meat. That makes him a good person. That is fact. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere with a nice view. The hill overlooking town. After several times in which you lost Marie, the moment you took her, your eyes off her, you managed to bring her here. Oh. It's really green here. Green and green and some brown and darker green. 
Leaves of green fly away. Farewell to you, clouds of the sky. I fly as well, lost as the day. Farewell to you, moon of the night. I said no. I wasn't making up a poem. It's just some words that I was thinking, that's all. Yeah. Shut up, I hate you, you stupid jerk. Dude, don't snoop on me. I don't even know you. I don't understand you. Wow, it's pretty big. I don't know why, but I feel good about this place. It reminds me of something. Are there any other places we can go? I want to see more. Um, I'll show you around. I notice a lot of things when I'm with you. It's pretty fun. Oh! She's a social link. Right. She's cute. The Aeon Arcana. See ya. I gotta hang out with her more. Uh, an entertainment news show is on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. My goodness. 36 months. Where did the time go? Thanks for I'm all the adventures tired of diets. Enough streams. with going to the gym. Keep Good thing there's something even I can you handle. <laughs> Thank you so much, Immortality, for the three-year resub. Holy shit. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? So strange. Yo. <gasps> Hi, Kanji! Sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh yeah, the shopping district seemed different today when I was passing by. Like, everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. I smell a case. Man, you're sounding like Teddy. It didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking around at school. Kanji just comes in our classroom all the time now. Hi, friends! Yo. Hey, there he is! You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. <laughs> Man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. Yosuke, drop it! <sighs> eh, whatever. So, hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Is Risei that popular? Huh? You don't know her? No. Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. Sorry. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! Uh A cutie pie? What are you, 80? <laughs> but I think 
She used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The new said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Rise if I go to her tofu shop? I'm not interested. Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Rise started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Rise be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Don't be mean to Kanji. Yeah. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. Oh god, this teacher. Alright, that's the end of the proof and the end of the chapter two. So I've heard all the gossip going around about Risei Kujikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They'll they'll have money. They'll never have the compromise in marriage. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? But you know, June June June. Oh my god, now June's got me saying June. <sighs> June is bonus month! That's why I'm a little bit happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. Oh, I can't. The Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Narakami-kun. You're looking bored. What period did Japan first implement bonus pay? Of course I'm listening. You're all ignoring me thinking I'm just chit-chatting, eh? Well, now this is gonna be on the test. Monka. Oh, it's you! Hey. hey, you wanna ditch class? Don't worry, we'll be back before the last bell. Sure. Alright, then meet me at the shoe lockers. I has dragged you here. <laughs> Feels so good. Just knowing everyone else is still stuck at school studying makes it feel great to be out here. It's okay once in a while. You think so? I'm surprised you're so open-minded. I had you pegged for a mama's boy. It's not like I do this all the time. Besides, since I started keeping track of my attendance and behavior record, I've been a good girl. Well, enough small talk. Let's go. We'll start with clothes and then we'll hit jewelry and shoes and maybe some cell phone stuff if there's enough time. All right. Of course. Anyway, time's a-wasting. Why am I here? <laughs> Why am I her bitch? Uh. It's nice to have a personal servant. I could buy so much more this way. Okay. I paid for everything with a gold card. Whose card is that? 
Are you insinuating that I stole this? I might have to beat you up. Look, this is my card. My family may not have status or history, but we do have money. My daddy made a fortune in land speculation. We'd better get going though, or we won't make it back before class ends. Soon as school gets out, I'm number one on the guidance counselor's list. He has to check on my attendance and behavior, and sometimes he tops it off with a lecture. It's a major pain. But I'm out here having fun, and all the teachers are totally clueless. How stupid can they be? You know what, though? I had more fun today than usual. You're different from the others. I like you. I think I'll keep you around, but next time, let's go after school. Okay, good. Yeah, that would be good. And she's a social link. Oh, God. Okay. More social links. Yay. The moon. What? Bye. Are you coming? Or maybe you'd like to be a blip on the guidance counselor's radar yourself. He returned to school with AI and snuck into your class. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to feel. All right, we got Yosuke, we got Yumi, who I'm still avoiding, by the way. No, Funky Boy, still. This is a fucking crime, dude. Chie. Maybe later. Oh, I got too many options, fuck this game. All right, going down. I'm gonna see if Yukiko's available. Hi, Yukiko. Oh, Yukiko, why? All right. You, me, I think still, yeah, still no good with you, me. Okay, it's either Yosuke or Chie. I feel bad because Yo. Yosuke said he was desperate. Janae's grocery department. You agreed to help with restocking after Yosuke begged you. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Choice salmon, 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. And while you're at it, how about some cheese? Direct from Italy and just 298 yen for today only. Restock this shelf too. Okay. You earned 5,500 yen working at Janae's. Oh, cool, I got money. That's a good social link. Janae's food court. You came with Yosuke after work. <sighs> Phew, I'm dead tired. They decided on the sale at the last minute and dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, But man. hey, I'm glad you were there. Thanks. Uh... It was fun. Oh boy, girls. Oh, Hanamura. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I had known, I would have skipped out. Please don't. You got a bonus for today, right? 
Yeah, I'll hold 500 yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. I don't think I can help you there. What's the point then? Oh my God. I worked so hard today. It was so crowded. I deserve a raise for that. Oh my God. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? Like Saki did. Was it during our second year when Saki eloped, I mean? Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went off with him. But she came right back, saying she'd save money and leave on her own. You mean she was dumped? Who knows? She started working here to save money, didn't she? I know us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. <sighs> Yikes. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. We're the only ones who can avenge Sek Saki Senpai. We're special. We're the only ones. So there's no need to bother with outsiders. <laughs> I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. You feel your relationship has grown deeper. Yikes. That was like the equivalent of Yosuke just getting sucker punched in the nuts. Dude took it like a man. Oh. Do I really want that? Uh, not really. I guess if I have two things that do pretty much the same thing. Oof, yikes. Poor Yosuke. <sighs> Ugh. Welcome back. Dojima! How are the plants? Oh wait, no, 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 I don't want to maintain the garden. There's a small bag of wasabi? You really regret doing that. The tears, they won't stop. Wasabi. This game makes you do questionable shit. Damn, Yumi again. I really should hang out with Yumi. Uh, let me just check. See if Adachi's available, main. Nope. Oh, but I do need, um... What? Alright, I need more cabbage seeds. Alright, I'll hang out with Yumi. It's okay to avoid her as long as you admit it. I mean, the real reason I'm avoiding her isn't because of her story, it's because, uh, she hasn't been able to rank up and I've had better options. Hey! <gasps> Wait, I could check on Marie. Wait. Let me see if I can hang out with Marie, actually.
Gotta feed Adachi with those cabbages. Hmm, yeah, I do. Uh... Wait, I was at the fucking... Oh, God. Uh, wait. Uh, I have cabbages now. I can give them to the girl for the, for, the, for the quest. I'm stupid. You. You want cabbages. I have them. Hell yeah. Alright, solve the quest. Worth it. On this episode of How to Grow a Dachi. Ah, that sounds so bad. Oh, did I just pass the velvet room like a fucking idiot? Wait, yeah, I did. I did just pass it. Whatever. Oh, Marie's Welcome not to here. Hello? Maria is nowhere to be found. If you're looking for Maria, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. An errand? Please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. Oh. It seems a piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Huh. Grr? Oh, she's growling at me. Okay. What is this? What are you doing? Did you look? No, I didn't. I see. You didn't? Really? That's good. Just forget this happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep. Sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. <laughs> that is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Welcome, my butt. That was close. Oh, I still can't do anything with Margaret. Oh, I need knowledge to talk to Margaret. I forgot I'm not smart enough for her. Huh? Fish, please. You should talk to her when she's standing outside the velvet room. Oh, okay. Not smart enough. I need to be expert to talk to Margaret. Whatever. All right, so that means our only option is Yumi. Not that that's bad or anything. Am I right? Actually, wait. Um, I could totally eat at the... It's raining. Wait, I could eat. And gain stat. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I did spend an evening licking wasabi. Look! Sometimes you just gotta raise your courage stat. Right? Oh! <gasps> My understanding is now generous! Pog! That... Yes, we're doing good. Worth it. <laughs> Welcome back! Hi, Nanako! Oh, are they gonna let me go out? Yeah... Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, checking the Midnight Channel, whatever. We're gonna see Risei on there, aren't we? Something like that. No, I hope it- oh god. The piano's gonna drop, isn't it? Oh, it's Risei. Seems to be a girl. She's wearing a swimsuit. 
She looks somewhat like Risei Kujikawa, the idol you saw on TV yesterday. For some reason, it keeps zooming in on her chest and thighs. Hmm, I wonder why. It's hard to make out her face as a result. Cause everybody in this game is a fucking perv! Hello? Hey, did you see that? That was Risei for sure. Risei Kujikawa! You're right. You're Thought right. So. I shouldn't be so excited. There's a chance she might get kidnapped. Yeah, Yosuke. It's not a good go thing. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh, yeah. Maruki Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, boy. Hey, did you hear? It looks like Risei Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. No way! Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Right. We're on an investigation. Right. Ah! Yosuke. Oh, hi, Adachi. Huh? Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. He's just leaving. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty. I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police Dude to Dude just like ran this. away from his job. You think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. And Damn, he's I gone. Not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? We came to see Risei. Hmm. Oh, um, well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan. Hmm. Fine, but remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell him everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. 
You got a point there. Ah, uh, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here, but it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. You sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. Recommend the, uh, Momin tofu. Whatever that is. Oh, yeah. I can't eat tofu. Uh, what? So? Just get some ganmodoki. Ganmodoki? Is that the kind with the rice cake in it? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like... Fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in. <laughs> Received a crash course on Gammo Ducky. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Kanji. He's the best. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Yes, may I help you? What the... Then, who's that? What? <laughs> totally not her. <sighs> uh, are you Risei? Yeah, so? No way. Are you really Risette? What do you want? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh... Psst, Kanji, order something! <laughs> Why are you making me do it? You already picked Gammo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man, but it's really her! I'm so glad I came. Mission compl- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Yosuke! Oh my god! Um, uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. Hey, little, why'd you let that slip? Kanji's the so I love you, Kanji. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet or what? Damn, man! You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Actually called him out. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um... Oh, dude, uh, okay. See. Sorry. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? Sorry, I was alarmed. Just like a freaking downpour happening outside, so the rain scared me for a second. I mean... It's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden. But we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. 
I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three go- There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks! Uh, Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. <laughs> we got a block, block of tofu. Why do I say it like that? We got a block of tofu. Thank you very I'm gonna much. I'm going to eat that tonight. seats in the back. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? Poor girl. I just needed a rest. <sighs> and have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang? Oh, no! Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim, Saki Konishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Aren't we going to be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. I hope Dojima won't suspect us. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. Yikes. Uh, this could be bad. We sure have a lot of tofu. Oh boy. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? Uh. Uh, don't lie to him. Okay, uh, we're not gonna lie. Uh, we talked about the cases. I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen. This is a job for the police. Sorry, Dad. <sighs> Forget it. I, I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah, you shouldn't bring it up. You guys met Risei Chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you fighting again? Of course not. Here. Hurry and finish your dinner. Five blocks of tofu. <laughs> Literally five blocks. <laughs> Dojima, don't kill me.
Uh oh. All right. Gonna TV time. Let's go. It's the same girl as before. Is still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and her waist are com are emphasized. It's Risi Kujikawa. This image is fairly clear tonight. Oh god, the fucking piano. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Call Yosuke. Hey, the one on tonight seemed a lot creepier than the real Risi, but you could see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. I hate the piano. Wait, they're letting me save here? That's interesting. I, I, that doesn't happen that often. Where we like get a separate save like that. So about the midnight channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are Broadcasted on TV. Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. But oh, so I don't know why. see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. The one that appears on TV is uh, your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. Okay. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to and for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intention. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So... When the killer thinks, I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're going to go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. I don't know. Mm. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, what? Uh, um, well... Kanji, um, are you okay? You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. Kanji? <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprits throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? Well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. <laughs> Kanji! How about you, you I love that senpai? face. Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> But if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. 
Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. Hell yeah! The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! This is interesting. We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Steak out. Oh, Steak. And throw right. in some disposable diapers. Disposable diapers? Excuse me? For what? They don't even sell those here. Excuse me? We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Adachi. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? <laughs> Dojima probably sent him to spy on us. I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. Yeah. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. Not a bad guy to have around. This game makes me miss Akechi. Stop! The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! Uh, who who's there? Are you okay, dude? Stop running, damn it! Don't, don't come near me! Shut up! He's probably what like some sort of paparazzi or something. I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing! Hey, what should we do? Let Yosuke decide, oh god. Tackle him from front, tackle him from behind. From behind! How are we supposed to get behind him? I don't know! Come on, let's just take him down. All right. On my Look! Over there! A Martian! Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... He really fell for that. Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in! What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb! Oh, wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? Oh. Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. That's not what a detective would say. We'll hear your story down at the station. 
<laughs> I've waited to use that line. Ah, oh, Dachi. Please, let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. God, the more stupid I hear Adachi be, the more I'm like, God damn, I miss a catchy smart ass. I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures. I can't handle this. Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. Good job, Adachi. Uh, you did great. Good job on... Yeah, you did You did great. Good job. Thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Good job. Oh, sure. Good job. But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Dude's a legend. Is it really over? Adaki is the best. He's uh, interesting. He's a clown. Rest is up to He's the a cops. true jester. I think he doesn't want to be a detective. He wants to be a he wants to be a clown, magician, performer. That's his true calling in life, pretty sure. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Awesome! Huh. Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh. Oh, did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left Oh no, the piano. Anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Wha what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. Adachi. She left without saying anything? That mean. Well, shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. You think Adachi Welcome wants to be home. noticed like a catchy? I don't know if I get that vibe. <laughs> I don't know. There's a delivery for you. I left it on the table. Oh, Shady. Oh, my Tanaka. Yeah. Oh, my ice cubes came in the mail. Great. Ah, my huge fish, too. Can't get much better than that. Nana no. Nanako's dress is so cute. It's really cute. Time to grow more cabbage. It's not for Adachi. Come on, grow. I'm excited. Will you be a 
She's a real detective. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, he is. Very much so. Ha! Huh. So basically what just happened is we found somebody suspicious. But he definitely was just some sort of paparazzi. It's, uh, it's not the culprit. Uh, he's not the murderer. Just some himbo. And we walked away. We caught him. And by the time that we were... By the time that we were gone, she somehow disappeared. Because she was there, and then she wasn't there. So that means the people that were with us... ...are not the... I'm trying- let me just think out my thoughts here. So that means the people that were with us are not... ...are innocent. Unless... There's like an accomplice, which also could be interesting. So don't rule out the fact that like... And I don't think it is, but like in the case that like Adachi is the murderer, he would need some sort of accomplice because he was there with us. But then that would be like too much. That's weird. This is weird. So what's like sucking people into the TVs? Or maybe... This is weird. This uh... These are all rhetorical questions, by the way, chat. But I like talking shit out. I'm just confused. It's, uh, it's, it's... I can't imagine. I'm sitting here like imagining that like... Even... Like, okay, so I'm imagining, like, the murderer going for his next target, and he just, like, picking them up and just, like, yeeting them into the TV. That seems unlikely. You just, like, fucking yeet. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, uh, I don't know. So, like, I feel like there's another mystery behind, like, I don't think that they just get, uh, um thrown in maybe there's like some force or something i don't know that would be so strange uh i don't know there's something weird behind that whole thing and then i also have to assume that like the murderer is he might he she might not be like working alone are there accomplices you know could be there could be there could be so don't want to assume that it's just one person could be several people all right i'm done i don't know i still don't have any idea on who the person is like the who the murderer like if i had to take a guess Let's see. I don't think- maybe we haven't met the murderer yet. Actually, no, that's unlikely. This is an RPG. They- they throw this shit in there secretly. <laughs> let's be real. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody I've met that I, like, genuinely think? If you guys want, like, a hot, like... If you guys want a hot take on a crystal theory. All right, crystal theory. I don't have a crystal theory right now, fuck. But I probably should make one. This is like the point in the game where I should be trying to really think of this. We're pretty far into it. Um... There's a part of me that, like, thinks that, um... Fuck, dude. Okay, let's rule out the students. It's not a student. It might be, but, like, that'd be... 
It's Yosuke. Just kidding. Uh, it, is it a student? Is an adult? I feel like it, the the method is too well thought out to be a kid, a student. But then I look at people like fucking Nanako, who's way too smart. <gasps> Nanako! Oh my God! It's Nanako! No, it couldn't be. Oh my God! Sunshine Child, definitely not Nanako. There's not many people in this game. You know what? It's definitely the the soulless kid, the guy that has no, you know, you know, you know the you know the person I'm talking about. The the guy. But I'm not supposed to judge a book by its cover. It's interesting, but like... My advice, don't think too much about it, because you might spoil yourself. Spoiling myself? That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's fun making theories. Um... A part of me is, like, thinking, could it be a Dachi? But, like, I don't think it is, because he... He's interesting. He's definitely an interesting character, but I... I think if he... Okay, I think if it's Adachi, then it would... He would have to have an accomplice, because I don't think that he can do it himself. One, because he's a fucking dumbass. He's not a dumbass. Dude's a clown. Oh, God. Yeah, I think especially with that last scene, because he was with us while she disappeared. So if... <laughs> so if it's... Um, oh, Crane Song, thank you. Yeah, actually... Yeah, emote only is probably better while I talk about my thoughts. Thank you. Um, yeah, I should do that from now on. Yo, thanks. Um, so yeah, if... <laughs> If it's Adachi, he literally needs an accomplice. He's, he can't do this by himself. Or maybe he can. Maybe I'm just completely underestimating the guy. And then on the other hand, what if it's Dojima? But like, definitely not Dojima. No, it's, it's not dad. It's not dad. Definitely not dad. It could be a student. I shouldn't rule out the students. You know what? Oh, it's King Moron. I forgot about him. All right, crystal theory, crystal theory number one. My main ruling theory is that it's uh, King Moron. If it's not King Moron, my backup theory is that it could be Adachi. Could be, but I'm really, I really don't think so, but I don't want to rule him out either. Cause he's been, he's been um, interesting to say the least. And, uh, so I think, I think if it's Adachi, it can't be him by himself. He would need some sort of accomplice. Unless I'm, uh, unless I don't have it figured out, like how they, how he gets people in the TV. Like, do they just fucking yeet them? They can't just do that. You can't just yeet someone into a TV, man. It's so weird. <laughs> Okay, so those are my two theories. Finalized theories. King Moron. Dude, maybe... It's... God, King Moron. High on the suspicion tier list. King Moron. Or... Um, Adachi with, with an accomplice. But like I said, that second theory is very, very, very far-fetched. I don't think... He's too much of a clown. 
Okay, I I'll stop talking. Sorry. I like, I like thinking. Sometimes I like just si sitting down and just thinking about the plot. You know? It's fun. It's, I haven't really had a chance yet to really sit down and think about what's happening. So uh, we had a chance to really think about it. <laughs> Thank you, Crane Song. That was a good idea. But yeah, okay. Those are my running theories. I'm rolling with them. For now. Unless something else piques my interest. Someone appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. Mario Cube Push Reset! Good evening, good evening! I'm Risei Kuchikawa! This spring, one young girl levels up to become a high school idol! Yay! So today, I'm gonna celebrate by pushing the limits of standards and practices! Excited, I'm sure. Let's rescue her quick. Because I bet her shadow self is gonna do whatever it wants again. But man, we couldn't prevent the kidnapping this time either. Even when we knew who the target would be, that detective from this afternoon was no help at all. I guess we'll have to do everything ourselves. Anyways, see you tomorrow. I've got nothing to do. I guess I'll head over to Okina with the movie theater, the shops, and the cafes there. I should be entertained. It's a great spot for dates, too. My girlfriend really digs it there, so I should see if she wants to go, too. Why do you have to do that? Always rubbing your girlfriend in my face. So, yeah, well, I hope that crazy woman at the clothing store makes you buy something dumb and you chug some way too intense coffee. Whoa, man, don't be a hater. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a fun place to go with anyone, friend or girlfriend. You want to come with next time? Ah. Yosuke is repressed gay 100%. Yosuke is interesting. Hey, Teddy! You okay? Because, like, obviously at the, at the camping trip, uh, he was giving off, like, homophobic vibes. But I don't, I don't think he is. I think that he's just uncomfortable because maybe, possibly, he's uncomfortable about himself, so it makes him uncomfortable. You know, that, that would be... He would react that way if he was uncomfortable about himself, you know? So... I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe that's what he's... Yeah, I think he's just confused. I wasn't crying. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. Teddy, we didn't abandon you. We would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless <laughs> bear. I don't even know what I am. How much longer am I going to stream? Actually, not too much longer, because I'm getting really hungry. Out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. 
They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry. But I'm glad well, you're having fun. You are hollow inside. Shut up! St Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on! I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? Yeah, totally! When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. Oh. Oh! Ugh. That hits me in my gut with a certain man. I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Shut up, Teddy! Oh my god! Sure, go right ahead. Cheat. Can we please drop the whole scoring Chie? thing? Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? She, uh... Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Rise Kujikawa? Hmm. You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately. Huh? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. Try harder. <laughs> That's not true. I can stay with you all. Teddy's having a, having an existential crisis. Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. Ugh, I need to get information. Lame. There's a lot of things I don't understand. We'll figure it out. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on. Star. I'll be waiting here. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So uh, let's just go straight to the source of the tofu shop. Talk to good old granny. Huh. Oh, quest. Hi. It's not normal for you to know someone exactly like yourself, right? That's why I brag about my little sister, a twin special. A twin is special. I think it's amazing too. Uh, I don't know if it's amazing. Uh, that's amazing. Totally. Isn't it? Um, I have something to ask you. I want to walk home with my sister, but I don't know where she went off to. If I wait, she doesn't come at all. Hope you Have you seen my sister anywhere? I'll look for her. Great, now I'm on a hunt for someone. Uh, looking for Rise? Sometimes she leaves the house without telling me. I hope she's okay. I've heard that someone, uh, some person with a camera has been wandering around recently. I think that person was called a Papa Rat or something. The people in this district try their best to keep, uh, to get rid of that person, but he just keeps coming back. I heard that there, he's often at the floodplain. There seems to be a paparazzi who's been snooping on Rise. Maybe he knows something about Rise's disappearance. But he was taken into custody. But I guess we'll check out the floodplain then. Huh. Oh, old man needs help. Is it true she's the girl from uh, the tofu shop, Mark Q? <laughs> uh, who knew something like that would come out of that little shop? I hear all kinds of things about her. By the way, I have a small favor to ask of you, if that's all right. Do you come across very many keys? To be honest, I'd like you to search for one, an old key. 
but please don't ask why I need it. There's just something I need to open. How about something you can never buy with money? Okay. Just find any old key, I guess. One of them should know about an idol, well, wouldn't they? We still don't have a lot of information. I wonder if there's anyone who knows anything. Oh, we're looking. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hi, Kanji. I bet the paparazzi would know something about Rise. What would we ask them? Well, I don't know. You've seen that face before. She looks almost exactly like the older sister who was looking for her younger twin. Oh! Tell my older sister that I'm here at the floodplain. Oh, I found the younger sister. Cool. Older sister, rather. That was easy. Questo danno! Hi, old man. Do you happen to have a fish hook? Oh, I still need to get this fucking man a fish hook. Stupid old man. Alright, so this was a dumpster fire. I know, I'm mad that you can't pet the cats in this game. They just go meow meow. That doesn't help me. They wouldn't require you to go to Okina City for information. I highly doubt that. Gonna try anyway. You're kind of cute, though. I think you'd look good in... Oh, oh that's the same girl before. Conversations. Okay. Going back to Inaba. So it looks like the main central shopping district is probably my best bet. I don't know. It's weird. Or maybe the paparazzi comes at night or something. I don't know. There's some strange guy by the riverbank. Think maybe I should ask him, uh, ask him something? What should I ask? Maybe I need some more info first. A paparazzo. Hmm, it seems tough being an idol, but maybe he, may he might know something. Not quite, but almost there. <laughs> My cousin's in the hospital hasn't been eating much. I always bring him candy and fruit when I visit, but I usually end up eating it myself when I leave. I'm worried about him. Can't, can't this dang bus get here any faster? Aww. Eh. All right, we found your little sister, girl. She should have come back here together with you. Well, that's okay. I'll go over and see her. Oh, I got five Goho M's. Cool, I guess. Let's see if anybody else knows something. Um, Pervy rat with a camera. <laughs> Yeah, that guy. Like, how was she when she was younger? Do you have any pictures of her? Sigh. Is the fact that Risei-chan quit show business really that bad? Mario q sons uh, has a store too. She did say it was rough. Indeed. Background music got me grooving. It's so good. It's really good background music in this game. Although, I, I still think I prefer Beneath the Mask more. Maybe. These guys probably have nothing to say. If she asked me what's more important to you, Mira or your motorcycle, I'm not sure I could choose. 
Hey, a man can dream. Oh my god. This motorcycle head over here. Woo, buddy. Oh yeah, I need to do stuff for this fox too. At some point in time. figure out how those work. I don't know what to do! Ah! The floodplain was the best uh, thing. Everyone's mentioning it. You like the P4 for a jam? Yeah, that's what I, that's why I like Beneath the Mask because I can put on Beneath the Mask for two hours and not ever get tired of it. This is like a good jam for like you know a five ten minute session jam. But as far as like repetitiveness, I would I would prefer Beneath the Mask for sure. There's nothing here. Ah. Okay. Um. Let's just see what other people do. Spent time with I. I guess I did have school today, huh? Oh. All right, we'll spend time sure. with I. Get to know her, I guess. Oh boy. Today I feel like getting something that's easy to slip into. Hmm, it doesn't look like they've gotten anything new in. I already have all of this. We'll have to come back. I'll get something next time, but I want something today, too. I came here to buy, not to look. Hey, I'm thirsty. Buy me an iced latte. I don't want her to walk all over me. Let's just split it. What? But I wanted my own. Well, I guess you'll have to buy a grande then. Bitch, if I'm buying you one, we're sharing it. We got a person that's in that's just your style. The guys will be all over you. That's all right. I'm not shopping for purses today. Oh, is that your boyfriend? He's quite a handsome one. Are you going to introduce him to me? I've got the worst luck with men lately. We were at the bar the other night. Sorry, we really got to get going. I'll be back. This girl. Ah. I hate salespeople. I'm the one keeping them in business. Why do they have to keep, uh, have to pounce on me every time I go in there? They should get rid of all the salespeople and put in vending machines. Press a button and out come your clothes. Sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Isn't it? I don't need all that pointless banter. I can see right through it. There's no such thing as a relationship without ulterior motives. She sounds like she's been through some shit. I don't know why, but I got a little annoyed when she was talking about you back there. She said you were handsome. Good for you, I guess. I think she has, uh, I think I get her. She's jealous that, I think she's jealous that she has to work really hard to look pretty, I think. Yet noticed, probably. Let's go home. It'll be dark by the time we get back. Not like I have any reason to hurry. Goodbye. Yikes. You wouldn't mind a vending machine for uh, for clothes? It'd be weird. Welcome back. I don't want to work as a janitor in the hospital. I want to hang out with Nanako. Actually, no, I want to go out. 
because I might get information. Oh, there's a doggo. You remember you have a sharp shovel? What? What? I don't know when I got this, but okay. You uncover one shoe and several old balls. Did this dog hide these here? Oh. That... happened? I don't have a fishing rod. I should probably fix that. Damn, I was hoping I would get some leads here. Whatever. No leads. Oh, Yumi. Hey, I've been ignoring you for a while. Maybe I should hang out with you right now. Time to go to our favorite place at night. Akihiko. Oh, uh... I assume that's her son. I don't know. Alright, let's see if there's anybody here. Lala-chan! <laughs> no, I miss Lala-chan. I miss Lala-chan a lot. Lala-chan was amazing. All right, old man, you got any information? Okay, well, no talk on Rise. Oh, I need a red goldfish. There was a strange net on the rooftop. Do you know about it? No? Please take this. A butterfly net. Thank you? Okay. Spend time with Nanako. Oh boy, that's a lot of Nanako. But what if I want to hang out with Yumi? Yeah! Yumi, let's go! <laughs> yeah, I think we'll hang out with Nanako. Relationship isn't ready to advance yet. Sorry, Nanako. I'm actually not gonna hang out with you. All right, so do Yumi. Uh, yeah, she was at the shopping district. I need information. What are you doing? I'm about to go home now. I was practicing my vocal exercise and didn't notice the time. I'll hang out. This will help. Um, you know. <laughs> you had a tough time at the school camp? I heard you had curry and passed out. That's just a rumor, right? I've never heard of anyone actually passing out from curry. Were you practicing your acting? Sounds like you went a little over the top. I'm proud of my act. <laughs> Not bad! The way this rumor is going around, it sounds like everyone believed it. But if you're going to act, you should have pretended that it was the most delicious thing you've ever eaten. All this talk about curry is making me want some. A neighbor gave us some inaba beef, uh, so maybe I'll make curry tomorrow. <laughs> oh cool, okay, that pushed it enough. Huh? That's right, I'll give you something good. Um, can Corn you take this? Potage cracker. 
Thanks. It's good for those times when you're worn out from all the practice. I recommend it. Good night. Good night. Bye, Yumi. Yo! Hi, Chie! It looks like it's gonna rain all day today. They say it, they said that it's not gonna last until tomorrow, so I don't think the fog's going to appear, but... Are you worried too? Yeah, the stuff that's on the Midnight Channel lately is pretty rough. But we can't get impatient. We need to make sure we're ready and rescue her before things get completely out of hand. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I need to get information. Okay, so information. Right, got it. Uh, uh, uh. That requires going to the riverbank, I think. I don't know. Uh. <gasps> it's my ball friends. Uh huh. I did know that the menu changes when it rains. Thank you for letting me know, broski. I gotta check on Funky Boy too, it's been a while. Yeah, I was supposed to stop. Yeah, that's uh, true, yes. I was supposed to. Cause I am quite hungry. Um. Yeah, the floodplain. That's where we're going. She avoids eating like she avoids Rumi. Okay, look. Hey, you got any information? You came to ask about Risei? Yes. How about this? Why don't we exchange information? You tell me what you know, and I'll tell you what I know. The people in the shopping district are making it hard for me to do any information gathering. As I thought. To be honest, I used to do a little digging into Rizet's, uh private life. I was surprised to discover she's totally different on TV. You'd never recognize her in real life. Though, when you think of an idol, you should honestly just assume manufactured personality, too. I want to inquire further. If you find anything new, you know where to find me. Maybe you hear some juicy gossip about Rizet from a big fan. Just swing on by. I'm all ears. Okay, I need more information for this guy, but that's our guy. We kind of sort of found our guy, but we got to give him more information for him to talk more. Please go and eat you. <laughs> Chad, Chad, you care about me so much. It's so cute. I appreciate it. Uh, I should really go and eat. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Okay. Fine, mom. You really not going to tell me anymore? I need to find more information. We just- we were getting there. We were getting the information. But like, I- I- <laughs> Fuck. I want to get information. But I also want to eat. Why can't I do both? Ah! Did you eat broccoli? No? Was I supposed to? Get information on where to eat. <laughs> I have dinner to eat. I just gotta go and, you know, throw it in the microwave. Uh, Alright, it's after school. It's dismal outside. Holy shit. Oh my god, no! You weren't supposed to save me food! <laughs> ah! God damn it. I'm not even gonna say no because poutine sounds amazing. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh, you know what that means? Now I have to keep streaming until the food arrives. Well, there you go. Invitation to keep streaming longer. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Cause I was about to get off and go get the food. <laughs> uh, well, now I gotta wait for food to arrive. Okay, that's good. I forgot that existed too sometimes. Okay, well, um, y'all can thank Rob. The stream's gonna keep going until, uh, until food arrives. 
So I got, I got information to collect. How do you send food? It's a special thing called uh, treat stream. <sighs> information is hard, especially because no one's outside whenever it's fucking thunderstorming. People already went into the TV, you fucks. That means that I could get all the information right now, unless I didn't get enough from yesterday. But I literally talked to everybody. Send food in the middle of the night, oh my god. The people in this district try, to best, uh, best, try their best to get rid of that person, but he just keeps coming back. Finish reading to be able to catch Bugs? Wait, I can catch bugs? Right. That sounds so exciting. <gasps> Shen, hi! I love you! I hate finding information, man. This is hard. Give me information. You fuck. Give me information. You piece of shit. I don't want to know about seeds. <gasps> ah! <laughs> sure, we'll get. Yeah, just give me. Get, okay, just give me your seeds. That's fine. That sounds really bad out of context. Sounds really bad. So excited for you to play this one. Oh, oh, you're cute. I'm gonna check one more time at the floodplain, and then the only thing I really didn't do is question all the students at the school, but that just sounds so tedious. I'll get you information, man. I'm looking for resay info, yeah, right now. This game sucks when it comes to finding information. God, it's so tedious. Uh, yeah, we pretty much have gone everywhere except for, like, questioning the students. I don't know why they would have information, though, so I didn't really think to talk to anybody here. Dude's absolutely clueless about Risei being here. Fuck. Mm. Uh, she's an idol. This dude was clueless about her moving here. You'd think that'd be like... Literally everybody in this town is talking about that. And this guy's like, wait, what? She's moving here? <laughs> dude, that was like last week's news. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this dude's my favorite. Hi. Weird, I have to go there today to run an errand for my grandma. Why are you giving me that look? It's just an errand, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Finding info like a detective is difficult and tedious. Uh, true. Whoa! The teacher. Can I look to you for some assistance? The truth is, I need some materials to build a new dowsing rod. The rod I've been using seems to have stopped responding to my power. That's why I thought it might be best to construct a new one, but special objects can only be created from special materials. Do you know anywhere you might be able to find ra rare raw materials? If you do, perhaps I can reward you with something from my artifact collection. This girl scares me. 
I have some very special things you'll never find in stores, so what'll it be? I have a few places of mine. I'd like you to find me a suspicious pole. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Wait, what? Whoa, Elite? I think one of my one of her fanboys is in my class. He might be able to help you. Oh. That definitely does help. Okay, so this is the second floor, and then we have the third floor, and then we also have the practice building to try and talk to people. Okay. Not that dude. <laughs> He's locked by side quest. Okay, you! Uh, that may be true. Uh, what? Uh, okay. So cute, isn't she? I'm a big fan of hers. There's a rumor that she's coming to town. Yeah, you're way behind the times, man. Did I not? No, okay, so we just didn't go to the practice building, I think. Mm -mm. Dude, no, Funky Boy got no more quizzes for us. It's super lame. King Moron bought a photo collection. Yeah, really, that's so weird, isn't it? It's super weird. No way, that's so creepy, but it's really funny too. King Moron bought a photo collection? What? Hello? Okay, second floor. No more funky student. Funky boy, he had one riddle for me, and then ever since then he's been he's been silent. I need a fitting board for that girl. I need to actually do some quests. Wait, we already did question the people on this floor. Oh, Resent fan. Nothing's been bigger than the bomb she dropped about taking time off for a little R&R. &R. Her blog may have some hints. Oh! As a fan, I'm devastated, but I guess there's not much I could do about it. If you want more up to the minute info, shouldn't you be asking someone in the media or something? I'll send a letter through her fan club. I wonder if, uh, if those will ever reach her now. Ooh, did this guy just give me more information? Kind of, sort of. I don't know if that counted. The best tool for cleaning the floor? That'd be a cleaning mop. Oh, no shit! You have... Wait, what? I'll trade it... Why would I give you my sword? No, I'm not giving you my sword for a fucking cleaning mop. What? I'm not doing it, no! I didn't check the roof, but it's raining, so nobody's gonna be on the roof. Yeah. Okay, first floor. I spent, like, 19,000. Okay. Wait, she ran away. What just happened? I held my emotions back all this time because I didn't want to disrupt your studies, but I just had to tell you, I love you. It's a very moving love note, however, it's actually addressed to somebody else. Oh, got cocked! I thought I had a fucking lover! Apparently the girl put this in the wrong shoebox. Perhaps she'll... She's the one who wrote the email request the fox showed you. Oh! Oh. 
The request from the fox! Okay, let's see if that's enough information. I'm not getting the freaking cleaning mop. I would save my game before buying that, just to, so I could go back. <laughs> Look, I spent a lot of money on my sword. I spent 20,000 yen on that shit. I don't want to lose it. Uh, she's stressed out. She's probably just worried about the TV coverage regarding the shocking hiatus. I've heard that Rosette was getting tired of her made-up personality. The real me and the different me uh, who has to act like an idol. She couldn't stand living two lives anymore or something like that. You didn't give me anything new, but thanks for the information. I can at least turn this into something. If you put together the information the paparazzi gave you, it seems that Rize was acting as a manufactured personality and she was worrying about her real self and her idol self. Oh, that's enough. Okay, we did it. Sweet. Well, um, we could report to the fox now that I finally did a thing. Um, but we could also just go to the TV. I have no reason to not go in the TV, so uh, I guess we can just do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I commented on the umbrella uh, earlier, like how he holds it in front of him, so like, it, he still gets wet. It's, uh, it's interesting. He's definitely getting wet. He's getting wet for the, to, you know, so that... <laughs> so that the shirt gets all wet, and then you start seeing through the shirt, and then you start seeing the muscles under the shirt. He's, uh, hitting on the ladies, you know, and so... We all know what main protagonist is trying to do here. Everyone's here, right? <sighs> Alright, the real question is, can we do this whole thing, this whole dungeon in one day like we did last time? Alright, let's brace- Oh, look at the fox! He's so cute! I love him. He's a cutie. I need to do his shit and rank up with him. Alright. Oh! This is our first time having kanji! Wait, I should go do the Pringles boss. But wait, I should also fuse some personas real quick. I'm gonna try doing the Pringles boss. Yeah. Marie is gone again. Why does Marie keep on leaving? Sifo, listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, faded to foam. The little mermaid. So I gather Marie likes writing poems. It's interesting. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. Yeah, it is. I said no. It's not a poem. Yeah, I'm yelling at the edge of the world that this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. Here's some bad poetry. Thank you for the 100 bits, I appreciate it. It wasn't bad poetry. It's better than what I could put out there, at least. Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. Sorry. I made Marie mad. Manage rescue requests? Wait, what? Ah. 
I... What? Didn't know that this was a thing. Yo, DD, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the emotes. When you send out a rescue request, your plea goes out to another you in another world. So when you're in the TV world and you get into trouble, try making a rescue request and see if you answer it yourself. If that other uh, you answers you from this from his world, you'll get a boost in this one. It doesn't require anything to make a rescue request, so why not give it a shot? Okay. Answering them is free too, so why not answer back? I mean, what kind of jerk doesn't help himself when he asks? Oh, you can send a message when you do that, too. So set your message here before you go. What? Oh, that's what all the messages are. Oh. Now I understand. Okay. Um, I, I just want to fuse. I'm just here to fuse. If I'm being honest. You just push the button? Yeah, I've been pushing the button. I probably should push it more to be honest. Uh, oh well. Doing it anyway. I want to be smart enough to talk to Margaret. <laughs> Too bad I'm not. Didn't I already have- oh, I have the Andra already. I want something stronger, but I can't. Ooh. I'm not good enough for these ones yet. Hmm. I'm only 22. Alright, well, that's enough for now, I guess. I don't know, I feel like I should fuse more. Just so I have more open slots. Mmm, ah, fuck it, we'll just go. We're fine. The cleaning mob? The cleaning mob, there's no way that shit's stronger. Get out of here. Alright, we're saving our game and we're gonna go fight the Pringles boss. That guy pissed me off last time. It's about time I get payback. I want to beat up this guy. I want Kanji in my party. But I don't know who to replace. Uh, you know what? Maybe Yosuke is the one to go. Or Chie. Yukiko is a definite member. Ooh, Yosuke or Chie. Uh... Yosuke is a little bit more helpful because he has Dia. Sorry, we'll go. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Don't worry, Yosuke's in my party now. Don't worry, Shen. He's here, he's here, he's here. He's in here, don't worry. I don't know if I'm strong enough even now to fight this guy. I mean, I'm gonna try. We'll see. It's fucking Pringles, man. There's one enemy! Smash it! Ah, I'm nervous already and I didn't even start. Okay. All right, we should start with some buffs. That's a good way to start, right? Or debuffs, yeah, that's also good. Persona. 
Oh, I forgot to look at Kanji's gear. I have literally no idea what Kanji has. Left. And we don't know um, anything about this guy. All I know is that Kanji got a lot of help. Holy shit. You can't see it because it's under my camera, but he has 357. Everybody else at like 250. Oh! Oh! He doesn't have direct command! Oh god! No, stop! Oh, fuck. Every time you get a new party member, this game sucks! Ah! He me. absorbed it. Oh, okay. Kanji. I'm all yours. Direct commands. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Keeping myself alive here. P3, you can't control your party members. Oh god, that sounds like it sucks. Oh god, why did that hurt so much? Jesus. Thanks. This guy just hurts. Okay, Kanji. Your persona's badass. You have regenerate. Oh my. I feel like I should. Mm. I can't defeat it. Yikes, Yukiko, be weak, though. Nice. nice! Cool, Yosuke. Pog. Damn, boy. Someone else's turn. Here it goes. Crush it time. It ain't going down. I am down. I'm gonna stay nice and healthy. I'm taking no chances with this guy. He makes me too nervous. Oh no, my dad's calling me. Ah fuck! I ah fuck. I haven't talked to my dad in a while, fuck. Ah, sorry dad, I'll call you in this. I gotta be up a boss. <laughs> I should just call him on stream. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I should really start doing damage. Attack reverted, oh fuck. Uh, shit. I thought you called him for Father's Day? I did, yeah. But he needs to talk to me again. Dad, my dad is going through some, uh, some tough times, and I, I feel bad that I didn't know about it until yesterday. You think Rampage is incoming? Oh, I forgot to lower his attack! Oh no, I was supposed to do that. We might die. I hope we don't. I'm just gonna have Yukiko as a heal bot, even though, like, everybody's full health. <laughs> I so far I forgot to lower his attack. Oh, okay, I have another turn, so we're good. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine! I need Tarunda. Yo, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. Persona. Someone else's turn. Here goes. Persona. It ain't going down. <laughs> we can do nothing. 
Cause it seems, uh, this isn't gonna... Could you imagine if we could just one-shot this boss? Oh, that'd be beautiful. I'm gonna do it for shits and giggles, but you can't just do that. It's not Shit working. don't work like this that. Can't be. Oh, I wish it did. I wanted to do arm chopper. Chop his arms off. Ooh, not bad. Someone else's turn. He's gonna He's gonna do something soon, right? Huh. He hasn't done rampage yet. We're gonna die soon. I'm just anticipating death. I am oh. oh, there's Rampage. No, oh, that was super cool. A kanji knows what's up, apparently. Calm down to get the toy. Oh, I feel bad. Yes, you can have half. We split the poutine. Whenever you guys order us poutine, <laughs> we split it. I am now. There. Ooh, buddy, spicy. We survived. We're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine, guys. Don't even worry about it. You guys were worried. Don't be worried. Yuki Chan's in danger. Help! Someone! Don't. We're fine, guys. Don't worry about it. See, we're fine. We're totally. We're fine. Nothing wrong here. Nothing bad. Never happens. It's fine. We're fine. You know, like... Shit happens! It's fine. We're fine. Totally fine. Okay. We're fine. Oh boy! Oh, that was Kanji. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's do this. Persona. Sorry. I am now. There. See, we're fine. We're already back on our feet. Here goes. Push it down. All right, time to go back on the offense. See, we recovered. We're totally fine. We're all recovered. We're back on our feet. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we're fine. Here goes Persona. That's some thick skin. I am now. Beautiful. Let's also give Yukiko some defense. I can't afford to have her die either. fight, though. He's like an iron wall. Oh, no! His attack reverted. Oh, God. Fuck. 
someone else's turn. I am now. There. Yukiko, our resident healer bitch. Get it, girl. Fuck yeah. Here goes. Crush it time. Lay down and die already. My defense reverted. Oh god, I'm vulnerable. <laughs> Kanji seems like a tank, yeah. Nice. Alright, so we're doing good. I'm just really hoping he doesn't, like, summon anything. I think we can win as long as he doesn't just summon shit out of the blue, you know? We can do this. I wanna, yeah. Okay, l hopefully this will make shit go by faster. This is the lowest we've ever gotten him, so this is looking promising. Kanji is actually doing all of the damage. Dude comes into my party and he's broken as fuck already. Either that or I'm just like hella weak. Don't kill rush me, you bitch. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. He's almost dead, he's almost dead. Just keep going, just keep going. He hasn't done a rampage in a while. I'm nervous. Damn, couldn't finish it. I don't like this. Oh! What? Another level Our courage three. increases. So I think it's safe to say that we can go... Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, Pug... Aw, oh, that's so nice! Thank you so much for gifting... Uh, oh, there's a feather on the ground. I'm glad I checked this out. Thank you so much for gifting five subs, Rizzo! That was really kind! And Spaceman, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime! I appreciate it! I hope you guys all enjoy your emotes. Mordecai, I'm glad that you enjoyed the videos, man! I have, um... Another video coming up tomorrow. Um, it's gonna be like a, a my second playthrough of P5R video before I start uploading P4 Gold videos. So uh, it's a lot of analysis, like stuff that I caught in my second playthrough. It's a mix of like on stream stuff and off stream stuff. I did a lot of uh, off stream recording too. So I hope that you guys will like it. It's been interesting playing through P5R a second time and noticing a lot more shit. Especially a lot of the dialogue is super fucking juicy the second time around. <sighs> almost everything... Uh, I'll stop talking. But yeah, almost everything people say is amazing. Huh? No, we're not getting a mop! Huh? Okay, so we're going back. Uh, I don't know if there's something... Okay. I'm gonna save here, and then we're gonna go to uh, Rise's dungeon for next time. That's gonna be on Friday. But thank you guys for hanging out. As always, I really appreciate it. Thank you for <laughs> the end of stream hype, I guess. That was very nice. Thank you, I really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are really kind. I appreciate all the support. You guys are nutty. Um, I'm gonna see who to throw a host over to right now. But genuinely, I really appreciate you guys coming on in. <gasps> oh, dang. Okay, ah, uh, fuck. There's a lot of people I want to throw my love at. 
<laughs> too many people okay um i'm just gonna go host oh is dom still oh i'm gonna host dom that, that, that he's my boyfriend who i just made go I, I made him go get the poutine oh we should send him a really cute message that says thanks for the poutine for thanks for getting crystals poutine this is our raid message because <laughs> i feel bad <laughs> thanks for sending <laughs> thanks for getting crystals poutine <laughs> All right, friends, I will see you guys um, in the next stream tomorrow. We're going to be streaming 14 until Friday. <laughs> All right, go love Dom. I appreciate him a lot. He's drawing the, some really cute emotes right now. All right, bye, friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.